Poems by Emily Dickinson 1. Life 1. Success Published in A Mask of Poets At the request of Hitch, the authors Fellow townswoman and friend Success is counted sweetest By those who ne'er succeed To comprehend a nectar Requires sorest need Not one of all the purple host who took the flag today, can tell the definition, so clear, of victory, as he, defeated, dying, on whose forbidden ear, the distant strains of triumph, break, agonized and clear, Two, our share of night to bear, our share of morning, our blank in bliss to fill, our blank in scorning, here a star, and there a star. Some lose their way. Here a mist, and there a mist. Afterwards, day. 3. Rouge et noir. Soul, wilt thou toss again? By just such a hazard. Hundreds have lost, indeed. But tens have won and all. Angels' breathless ballot. Lingers to record thee. Imps in eager caucus. Raffle for my soul. 4. Rouge Gagny. T is so much joy. T is so much joy. If I should fail, what poverty. And yet, as poor as I. Have ventured all upon a throw. Have gained. Yes. Hesitated so. This side the victory. Life is but life, and death but death. Bliss is but bliss, and breath but breath. And if, indeed, I fail, at least to know the worst is sweet. Defeat means nothing but defeat. No drearier can prevail. And if I gain, oh, gun at sea. Oh, bells that in the steeples be. At first repeat it slow. For heaven is a different thing. Conjectured, and waked sudden in. And might o'erwhelm me so. V. Glee. The great storm is over. For have recovered the land. Forty gone down together. Into the boiling sand. Ring, for the scant salvation. Toll, for the bonny souls. Neighbor and friend and bridegroom. Spinning upon the shoals. How they will tell the shipwreck. When winter shakes the door. Till the children ask, but the forty? Did they come back no more? Then a silence suffuses the story. And a softness the teller's eye. And the children no further question. And only the waves reply. 6. If I can stop one heart from breaking. I shall not live in vain. If I can ease one life the aching. Or cool one pain. Or help one fainting robin. Unto his nest again. I shall not live in vain. 7. Almost. Within my reach. I could have touched. I might have chanced that way. Soft sauntered through the village. Sauntered as soft away. So unsuspected violets. Within the fields lie low. Too late for striving fingers. That passed, an hour ago. 8. A wounded deer leaps highest. I've heard the hunter tell. T is but the ecstasy of death. And then the break is still. The smitten rock that gushes. The trampled steel that springs. A cheek is always redder. Just where the hectic stings. Mirth is the mail of anguish. In which it cautions arm. Lest anybody spy the blood. And, you're hurt, exclaim. 9. The heart asks pleasure first. And then, excuse from pain. And then, those little anodynes. That deadened suffering. And then, to go to sleep. And then, if it should be. The will of its inquisitor. The liberty to die. X. In a library. A precious, moldering pleasure, T is. To meet an antique book. 
In just the dress his century wore. A privilege, I think. His venerable hand to take. And warming in our own. A passage back, or two, to make. To times when he was young. His quaint opinions to inspect. His knowledge to unfold. On what concerns our mutual mind. The literature of old. What interested scholars most. What competitions ran. When Plato was a certainty. And Sophocles a man. When Sappho was a living girl. And Beatrice wore. The gown that Dante deified. Facts, centuries before. He traverses familiar. As one should come to town. And tell you all your dreams were true. He lived where dreams were sown. His presence is enchantment. You beg him not to go. Old volumes shake their vellum heads. And tantalize, just so. 11. Much madness is divinest sense. To a discerning eye. Much sense the starkest madness. T is the majority. In this, as all, prevails. Assent, and you are sane. Demur, you're straightway dangerous. And handled with a chain. 12. I asked no other thing. No other was denied. I offered being for it. The mighty merchant smiled. Brazil? He twirled a button. Without a glance my way. But, madam, is there nothing else? That we can show today? 13. Exclusion. The soul selects her own society. Then shuts the door. On her divine majority. Obtrude no more. Unmoved, she notes the chariots pausing. At her low gate. Unmoved, an emperor is kneeling. Upon her mat. I've known her from an ample nation. Choose one. Then close the valves of her attention. Like stone. 14. The secret. Some things that fly there be. Birds, ours, the bumblebee. Of these no elegy. Some things that stay there be. Grief, hills, eternity. Nor this behoveth me. There are, that resting, rise. Can I expound the skies? How still the riddle lies. 15. The lonely house. I know some lonely houses off the road. A robber, d like the look of. Wooden barred. And windows hanging low. Inviting to. A portico. Where two could creep. One hand the tools. The other peep. To make sure all's asleep. Old fashioned eyes. Not easy to surprise. How orderly the kitchen d look by night. With just a clock. But they could gag the tick. And mice won't bark. And so the walls don't tell. None will. A pair of spectacles ajar just stir. An almanac's aware. Was it the mat winked? Or a nervous star? The moon slides down the stair. To see who's there. There's plunder, where? Tankard, or spoon. Earring, or stone. A watch, some ancient brooch. To match the grandmama. Stayed sleeping there. Day rattles, too. Stealth slow. The sun has got as far. As the third sycamore. Screams chanticleer. Who's there? And echoes, trains away. Sneer, where? While the old couple, just astir. Fancy the sunrise left the door ajar. 16. To fight aloud is very brave. But gallantier, I know. Who charge within the bosom? The cavalry of woe. Who win, and nations do not see. Who fall, and none observe. Whose dying eyes no country. Regards with patriot love. We trust, in plumed procession. For such the angels go. Rank after rank, with even feet. And uniforms of snow. 17. 
Dawn. When night is almost done. And sunrise grows so near. That we can touch the spaces. It is time to smooth the hair. And get the dimples ready. And wonder we could care. For that old faded midnight. That frightened but an hour. 18. The Book of Martyrs. Read, sweet, how others strove. Till we are stouter. What they renounced. Till we are less afraid. How many times they bore. The faithful witness. Till we are helped. As if a kingdom cared. Read then of faith. That shone above the faggot. Clear strains of him. The river could not drown. Brave names of men. And celestial women. Passed out of record. Into renown. 19. The mystery of pain. Pain has an element of blank. It cannot recollect. When it began, or if there were. A day when it was not. It has no future but itself. Its infinite realms contain. Its past, enlightened to perceive. New periods of pain. XX. I taste a liquor never brewed. From tankards scooped in pearl. Not all the vats upon the Rhine. Yield such an alcohol. Inebriate of air am I. And debauchee of dew. Reeling, through endless summer days. From inns of molten blue. When landlords turn the drunken bee. Out of the foxglove's door. When butterflies renounce their drams. I shall but drink the more. Till seraphs swing their snowy hats. And saints to windows run. To see the little tippler. Leaning against the sun. 21. A book. He ate and drank the precious words. His spirit grew robust. He knew no more that he was poor. Nor that his frame was dust. He danced along the dingy days. And this bequest of wings. Was but a book. What liberty. A loosened spirit brings. 22. I had no time to hate, because. The grave would hinder me. And life was not so ample I. Could finish enmity. Nor had I time to love. But since. Some industry must be. The little toil of love, I thought. Was large enough for me. 23. Unreturning. T was such a little, little boat. That toddled down the bay. T was such a gallant, gallant sea. That beckoned it away. T was such a greedy, greedy wave. That licked it from the coast. Nor ever guessed the stately sails. My little craft was lost. 24. Whether my bark went down at sea. Whether she met with gales. Whether to isles enchanted. She bent her docile sails. By what mystic mooring. She is held today. This is the errand of the eye. Out upon the bay. 25. Belshazzar had a letter. He never had but one. Belshazzar's correspondent. Concluded and begun. In that immortal copy. The conscience of us all. Can read without its glasses. On Revelation's wall. 26. The brain within its groove. Runs evenly and true. But let a splinter swerve. T were easier for you. To put the water back. When floods have slipped the hills. And scooped a turnpike for themselves. And blotted out the mills. 2. Love. I. Mine. Mine by the right of the white election. Mine by the royal seal. Mine by the sign in the scarlet prison. Bars cannot conceal. Mine, here in vision and in veto. Mine, by the grave's repeal. Titled, confirmed, delirious charter. Mine, while the ages steal. 2. Bequest. You left me, sweet, two legacies. A legacy of love. A heavenly father would content. 
had he the offer of. You left me boundaries of pain. Capacious as the sea. Between eternity and time. Your consciousness and me. Free. Alter. When the hills do. Falter. When the sun. Question if his glory. Be the perfect one. Surfeit. When the daffodil. Doth of the dew. Even as herself, O oh friend. I will of you. 4. Suspense. Elysium is as far as to. The very nearest room. If in that room a friend await. Felicity or doom. What fortitude the soul contains. That it can so endure. The accent of a coming foot. The opening of a door. V. Surrender. Doubt me, my dim companion. Why, God would be content. With but a fraction of the love. Poured thee without a stint. The whole of me, forever. What more the woman can. Say quick, that I may dower thee. With last delight I own. It cannot be my spirit. For that was thine before. I seeded all of dust I knew. What opulence the more. Had I, a humble maiden. Whose farthest of degree. Was that she might. Some distant heaven. Dwell timidly with thee. 6. If you were coming in the fall. I'd brush the summer by. With half a smile and half a spurn. As housewives do a fly. If I could see you in a year. I'd win the months in balls. And put them each in separate drawers. Until their time befalls. If only centuries delayed. I'd count them on my hand. Subtracting till my fingers dropped. Into Van Diamond's land. If certain, when this life was out. That yours and mine should be. I'd toss it yonder like a rind. And taste eternity. But now, all ignorant of the length. Of time's uncertain wing. It goads me, like the goblin bee. That will not state its sting. 7. With a flower. I hide myself within my flower. That wearing on your breast. You, unsuspecting, wear me too. And angels know the rest. I hide myself within my flower. That, fading from your vase. You, unsuspecting, feel for me. Almost a loneliness. 8. Proof. That I did always love. I bring thee proof. That till I loved. I did not love enough. That I shall love alway. I offer thee. That love is life. And life hath immortality. This, dost thou doubt, sweet? Then have I. Nothing to show. But Calvary. 9. Have you got a brook in your little heart? Where bashful flowers blow. And blushing birds go down to drink. And shadows tremble so. And nobody knows, so still it flows. That any brook is there. And yet your little draught of life. Is daily drunken there. Then look out for the little brook in March. When the rivers overflow. And the snows come hurrying from the hills. And the bridges often go. And later, in August it may be. When the meadows parching lie. Beware, lest this little brook of life. Some burning noon go dry. X. Transplanted. As if some little arctic flower. Upon the polar hem. Went wandering down the latitudes. Until it puzzled came. To continents of summer. To firmaments of sun. To strange, bright crowds of flowers. And birds of foreign tongue. I say, as if this little flower. To Eden wandered in. What then? Why, nothing, only. Your inference therefrom. 11. The outlet. My river runs to thee. Blue sea, wilt welcome me. My river waits reply. O sea, look graciously. 
I'll fetch thee brooks. From spotted nooks. Say, see. Take me. 12. In vain. I cannot live with you. It would be life. And life is over there. Behind the shelf. The sexton keeps the key to. Putting up. Our life, his porcelain. Like a cup. Discarded of the housewife. Quaint or broken. A newer Sevra pleases. Old ones crack. I could not die with you. For one must wait. To shut the other's gaze down. You could not. And I, could I stand by. And see you freeze. Without my right of frost. Death's privilege. Nor could I rise with you. Because your face. Would put out Jesus. That new grace. Glow plain and foreign. On my homesick eye. Except that you, then he. Shown closer by. They judge us, how. For you served heaven, you know. Or sought to. I could not. Because you saturated sight. And I had no more eyes. For sordid excellence. As paradise. And were you lost, I would be. Though my name. Rang loudest. On the heavenly fame. And were you saved. And I condemned to be. Where you were not. That self were hell to me. So we must keep apart. You there, I hear. With just the door ajar. That oceans are. And prayer. And that pale sustenance. Despair. 13. Renunciation. There came a day at summer's full. Entirely for me. I thought that such were for the saints. Where revelations be. The sun, as common, went abroad. The flowers, accustomed, blew. As if no soul the solstice passed. That mocketh all things new. The time was scarce profaned by speech. The symbol of a word. Was needless, as at sacrament. The wardrobe of our Lord. Each was to each the sealed church. Permitted to commune this time. Lest we too awkward show. At supper of the Lamb. The hours slid fast, as hours will. Clutched tight by greedy hands. So faces on two decks look back. Bound to opposing lands. And so, when all the time had failed. Without external sound. Each bound the other's crucifix. We gave no other bond. Sufficient troth that we shall rise. Deposed, at length, the grave. To that new marriage, justified. Through Calvaries of Love. 14. Love's Baptism. I'm seated, I've stopped being theirs. The name they dropped upon my face. With water, in the country church. Is finished using now. And they can put it with my dolls. My childhood, and the string of spools. I've finished threading too. Baptized before without the choice. But this time consciously, of grace. Unto supremest name. Called to my full, the crescent dropped. Existence's whole arc filled up. With one small diadem. My second rank, too small the first. Crowned, crowing on my father's breast. A half unconscious queen. But this time, adequate, erect. With will to choose or to reject. And I choose, just a throne. 15. Resurrection. T was a long parting, but the time. For interview had come. Before the judgment seat of God. The last and second time. These fleshless lovers met. A heaven in a gaze. A heaven of heavens, the privilege. Of one another's eyes. No lifetime set on them. Appareled as the new. Unborn, except they had beheld. Born everlasting now. Was bridal air like this? A paradise, the host. And cherubim and seraphim. 
The most familiar guest. 16. Apocalypse. I'm wife. I've finished that. That other state. I'm czar, I'm woman now. It's safer so. How odd the girl's life looks. Behind this soft eclipse. I think that earth seems so. To those in heaven now. This being comfort, then. That other kind was pain. But why compare? I'm wife. Stop there. 17. The wife. She rose to his requirement, dropped. The playthings of her life. To take the honorable work. Of woman and of wife. If aught she missed in her new day. Of amplitude, or awe. Or first perspective, or the gold. In using war away. It lay unmentioned, as the sea. Develops pearl and weed. But only to himself is known. The fathoms they abide. 18. Apotheosis. Come slowly, Eden. Lips and use to thee. Bashful, sip thy jasmines. As the fainting bee. Reaching late his flower. Round her chamber hums. Counts his nectars, enters. And is lost in bombs. Free, nature. I. New feet within my garden go. New fingers stir the sod. A troubadour upon the elm. Betrays the solitude. New children play upon the green. New weary sleep below. And still the pensive spring returns. And still the punctual snow. 2. Mayflower. Pink, small, and punctual. Aromatic, low. Covert in April. Candid in May. Dear to the moss. Known by the knoll. Next to the robin. In every human soul. Bold little beauty. Bedecked with thee. Nature forswears. Antiquity. Free. Why? The murmur of a bee. A witchcraft yieldeth me. If any ask me why. T were easier to die. Then tell. The red upon the hill. Taketh away my will. If anybody sneer. Take care, for God is here. That's all. The breaking of the day. Addeth to my degree. If any ask me how. Artist, who drew me so. Must tell. 4. Perhaps you'd like to buy a flower. But I could never sell. If you would like to borrow. Until the daffodil. Unties her yellow bonnet. Beneath the village door. Until the bees, from clover rose. Their hawk and sherry draw. Why, I will lend until just then. But not an hour more. V. The pedigree of honey. Does not concern the bee. A clover, any time, to him. Is aristocracy. 6. A service of song. Some keep the Sabbath going to church. I keep it staying at home. With a bobolink for a chorister. And an orchard for a dome. Some keep the Sabbath in surplus. I just wear my wings. And instead of tolling the bell for church. Our little sexton sings. God preaches, a noted clergyman. And the sermon is never long. So instead of getting to heaven at last. I'm going all along. 7. The bee is not afraid of me. I know the butterfly. The pretty people in the woods. Receive me cordially. The brooks laugh louder when I come. The breezes matter play. Wherefore, mine eyes, thy silver mists. Wherefore, O oh summer's day. 8. Summer's armies. Some rainbow coming from the fair. Some vision of the world Kashmir. I confidently see. Or else a peacock's purple train. Feather by feather, on the plain. Fritters itself away. The dreamy butterflies bestir. Lethargic pools resume the whir. Of last year's sundered tune. 
from some old fortress on the sun. Baronial bees march, one by one. In murmuring platoon. The robins stand as thick today. As flakes of snow stood yesterday. On fence and roof and twig. The orcus binds her feather on. For her old lover, don the sun. Revisiting the bog. Without commander, countless, still. The regiment of wood and hill. In bright detachment stand. Behold. Whose multitudes are these? The children of whose turban seas? Or what Circassian land? 9. The grass. The grass so little has to do. A sphere of simple green. With only butterflies to brood. And bees to entertain. And stir all day to pretty tunes. The breezes fetch along. And hold the sunshine in its lap. And bow to everything. And thread the dews all night, like pearls. And make itself so fine. A duchess were too common. For such a noticing. And even when it dies, to pass. In odors so divine. As lowly spices gone to sleep. Or amulets of pine. And then to dwell in sovereign barns. And dream the days away. The grass so little has to do. I wish I were the hay. X. A little road not made of man. Enabled of the eye. Accessible to fill of bee. Or cart of butterfly. If town it have, beyond itself. T is that I cannot say. I only sigh, no vehicle. Bears me along that way. 11. Summer shower. A drop fell on the apple tree. Another on the roof. A half a dozen kissed the eaves. And made the gables laugh. A few went out to help the brook. That went to help the sea. Myself conjectured, were they pearls? What necklaces could be? The dust replaced in hoisted roads. The birds jocoser sung. The sunshine threw his hat away. The orchard spangles hung. The breezes brought dejected lutes. And bathed them in the glee. The east put out a single flag. And signed the fate away. 12. Psalm of the day. A something in a summer's day. As slow her flambeaux burn away. Which solemnizes me. A something in a summer's noon. An azure depth, a wordless tune. Transcending ecstasy. And still within a summer's night. A something so transporting bright. I clap my hands to see. Then veil my too inspecting face. Lest such a subtle, shimmering grace. Flutter too far for me. The wizard fingers never rest. The purple brook within the breast. Still chafes its narrow bed. Still rears the Easter amber flag. Guides still the sun along the crag. His caravan of red. Like flowers that heard the tale of dews. But never deemed the dripping prize. Awaited their low brows. Or bees, that thought the summer's name. Some rumor of delirium. No summer could for them. Or arctic creature, dimly stirred. By tropic hint, some traveled bird. Imported to the wood. Or wind's bright signal to the ear. Making that homely and severe. Contented, known, before. The heaven unexpected came. To lives that thought their worshipping. A too presumptuous psalm. 13. The Sea of Sunset. This is the land the sunset washes. These are the banks of the yellow sea. Where it rose, or whither it rushes. These are the western mystery. Night after night her purple traffic. Strews the landing with opal bales. Merchantmen poise upon horizons. Dip, and vanish with fairy sails. 14. Purple Clover. There is a flower that bees prefer. And butterflies desire. To gain the purple democrat. The humming birds aspire. And whatsoever insect pass. A honey bears away. 
proportioned to his several dearth. And her capacity. Her face is rounder than the moon. And ruddier than the gown. Of Orcus in the pasture. Or rhododendron worn. She doth not wait for June. Before the world is green. Her sturdy little countenance. Against the wind is seen. Contending with the grass. Near kinsman to herself. For privilege of sod and sun. Sweet litigants for life. And when the hills are full. And newer fashions blow. Doth not retract a single spice. For pang of jealousy. Her public is the noon. Her providence the sun. Her progress by the bee proclaimed. In sovereign, swerveless tune. The bravest of the host. Surrendering the last. Nor even of defeat aware. When cancelled by the frost. 15. The bee. Like trains of cars on tracks of plush. I hear the level bee. A jar across the flowers goes. Their velvet masonry. Withstands until the sweet assault. Their chivalry consumes. While he, victorious, tilts away. To vanquish other blooms. His feet are shod with gauze. His helmet is of gold. His breast, a single onyx. With chrysoprase, inlaid. His labor is a chant. His idleness a tune. Oh, for a bee's experience. Of clovers and of noon. 16. Presentiment is that long shadow on the lawn. Indicative that suns go down. The notice to the startled grass. That darkness is about to pass. 17. As children bid the guest good night. And then reluctant turn. My flowers raise their pretty lips. Then put their nightgowns on. As children caper when they wake. Merry that it is morn. My flowers from a hundred cribs. Will peep and prance again. 18. Angels in the early morning. May be seen the dews among. Stooping, plucking, smiling, flying. Do the buds to them belong. Angels when the sun is hottest. May be seen the sands among. Stooping, plucking, sighing, flying. Parched the flowers they bear along. 19. So bashful when I spied her. So pretty, so ashamed. So hidden in her leaflets. Lest anybody find. So breathless till I passed her. So helpless when I turned. And bore her, struggling, blushing. Her simple haunts beyond. For whom I robbed the dingle. For whom betrayed the dell. Many will doubtless ask me. But I shall never tell. XX. Two worlds. It makes no difference abroad. The seasons fit the same. The mornings blossom into noons. And split their pods of flame. Wildflowers kindle in the woods. The brooks brag all the day. No blackbird baits his jargoning. For passing Calvary. Auto de fe and judgment. Are nothing to the bee. His separation from his rose. To him seems misery. 21. The mountain. The mountain sat upon the plain. In his eternal chair. His observation omnifold. His inquest everywhere. The seasons prayed around his knees. Like children round a sire. Grandfather of the days is he. Of dawn the ancestor. 22. A day. I'll tell you how the sun rose. A ribbon at a time. The steeples swam in amethyst. The news like squirrels ran. The hills untied their bonnets. The bobolinks begun. Then I said softly to myself. That must have been the sun. But how he set, I know not. There seemed a purple style. Which little yellow boys and girls. Were climbing all the while. Till when they reached the other side. A domini in grey. Put gently up the evening bars. 
and led the flock away. 23. The Butterfly's Assumption Gown In Chrysoprase apartments hung. This afternoon put on. How condescending to descend. And be of buttercups the friend. In a New England town. 24. The Wind Of all the sounds dispatched abroad. There's not a charge to me. Like that old measure in the bows. That phraseless melody. The wind does, working like a hand. Whose fingers brush the sky. Then quiver down, with tufts of tune. Permitted gods and me. When winds go round and round in bands. And thrum upon the door. And birds take places overhead. To bear them orchestra. I crave him grace, of summer boughs. If such an outcast be. He never heard that fleshless chant. Rise solemn in the tree. As if some caravan of sound. On deserts, in the sky. Had broken rank. Then knit, and passed. In seamless company. 25. Death and life. Apparently with no surprise. To any happy flower. The frost beheads it at its play. In accidental power. The blonde assassin passes on. The sun proceeds unmoved. To measure off another day. For an approving God. 26. Tea was later when the summer went. Then when the cricket came. And yet we knew that gentle clock. Meant not but going home. Tea was sooner when the cricket went. Then when the winter came. Yet that pathetic pendulum. Keeps esoteric time. 27. Indian summer. These are the days when birds come back. A very few, a bird or two. To take a backward look. These are the days when skies put on. The old, old sophistries of June. A blue and gold mistake. Oh, fraud that cannot cheat the bee. Almost thy plausibility. Induces my belief. Till ranks of seeds their witness bear. And softly through the altered air. Hurries the timid leaf. Oh, sacrament of summer days. Oh, last communion in the haze. Permit a child to join. Thy sacred emblems to partake. Thy consecrated bread to break. Taste thine immortal wine. 28. Autumn. The morns are meeker than they were. The nuts are getting brown. The berry's cheek is plumper. The rose is out of town. The maple wears a gayer scarf. The field a scarlet gown. Lest I should be old-fashioned. I'll put a trinket on. 29. Beclouded. The sky is low, the clouds are mean. A traveling flake of snow. Across a barn or through a rut. Debates if it will go. A narrow wind complains all day. How someone treated him. Nature, like us, is sometimes caught. Without her diadem. Triple X. The hemlock. I think the hemlock likes to stand. Upon a marge of snow. It suits his own austerity. And satisfies in all. That men must slake in wilderness. Or in the desert cloy. An instinct for the whore, the bald. Lapland's necessity. The hemlock's nature thrives on cold. The gnash of northern winds. Is sweetest nutriment to him. His best Norwegian wines. To satin races he is not. But children on the dawn. Beneath his tabernacles play. And Nyeper wrestlers run. 31. There's a certain slant of light. On winter afternoons. That oppresses, like the weight. Of cathedral tunes. Heavenly hurt it gives us. We can find no scar. But internal difference. Where the meanings are. None may teach it anything. T is the seal, despair. An imperial affliction. Sent us of the air. When it comes, the landscape listens. 
shadows hold their breath. When it goes, T is like the distance. On the look of death. 4. Time and eternity. I. One dignity delays for all. One mitered afternoon. None can avoid this purple. None evade this crown. Coach it ensures, and footmen. Chamber and state and throng. Bells, also, in the village. As we ride grand along. What dignified attendance. What service when we pause. How loyally at parting. Their hundred hats they raise. How pomp surpassing ermine. When simple you and I. Present our meek escutcheon. And claim the rank to die. Too. Too late. Delayed till she had ceased to know. Delayed till in its vest of snow. Her loving bosom lay. An hour behind the fleeting breath. Later by just an hour than death. Oh, lagging yesterday. Could she have guessed that it would be. Could but a crier of the glee. Have climbed the distant hill. Had not the bliss so slow a pace. Who knows but this surrendered face. Were undefeated still. Oh, if there may departing be. Any forgot by victory. In her imperial round. Show them this meek apparelled thing. That could not stop to be a king. Doubtful if it be crowned. 3. Astra Castra. Departed to the judgment. A mighty afternoon. Great clouds like ushers leaning. Creation looking on. The flesh surrendered, cancelled. The bodiless begun. Two worlds, like audiences, disperse. And leave the soul alone. 4. Safe in their alabaster chambers. Untouched by morning and untouched by noon. Sleep the meek members of the resurrection. Rafter of satin, and roof of stone. Light laughs the breeze in her castle of sunshine. Babbles the bee in a stolid ear. Pipe the sweet birds in ignorant cadence. Ah, what sagacity perished here. Grand go the years in the crescent above them. Worlds scoop their arcs, and firmaments row. Diadems drop and doges surrender. Soundless as dots on a disk of snow. V. On this long storm the rainbow rose. On this late morn the sun. The clouds, like listless elephants. Horizon straggled down. The birds rose smiling in their nests. The gales indeed were done. Alas! How heedless were the eyes. On whom the summer shone. The quiet nonchalance of death. No daybreak can bestir. The slow archangel's syllables. Must awaken her. 6. From the chrysalis. My cocoon tightens, colors tease. I'm feeling for the air. A dim capacity for wings. Degrades the dress I wear. A power of butterfly must be. The aptitude to fly. Meadows of majesty concedes. And easy sweeps of sky. So I must baffle at the hint. And cipher at the sign. And make much blunder, if at last. I take the clue divine. 7. Setting sail. Exultation is the going. Of an inland soul to sea. Past the houses, past the headlands. Into deep eternity. Bred as we, among the mountains. Can the sailor understand? The divine intoxication. Of the first league out from land. 8. Look back on time with kindly eyes. He doubtless did his best. How softly sinks his trembling sun. In human nature's west. 9. A train went through a burial gate. A bird broke forth and sang. And trilled, and quivered, and shook his throat. Till all the churchyard rang. And then adjusted his little notes. And bowed and sang again. Doubtless, he thought it meet of him. To say goodbye to men. X. I died for beauty, but was scarce. Adjusted in the tomb. 
when one who died for truth was lain. In an adjoining room. He questioned softly why I failed. For beauty, I replied. And I for truth, the two are one. We brethren are, he said. And so, as kinsmen met a knight. We talked between the rooms. Until the moss had reached our lips. And covered up our names. 11. Troubled about many things. How many times these low feet staggered. Only the soldered mouth can tell. Try. Can you stir the awful rivet? Try. Can you lift the hasps of steel? Stroke the cool forehead, hot so often. Lift, if you can, the listless hair. Handle the adamantine fingers. Never a thimble more shall wear. Buzz the dull flies on the chamber window. Brave shines the sun through the freckled pane. Fearless the cobweb swings from the ceiling. Indolent housewife, in Daisy's lane. 12. Real. I like a look of agony. Because I know it, best true. Men do not sham convulsion. Nor simulate a throw. The eyes glaze once, and that is death. Impossible to feign. The beads upon the forehead. By homely anguish strung. 13. The funeral. That short, potential stir. That each can make but once. That bustle so illustrious. T is almost consequence. Is the eclat of death. O, oh, thou unknown renown. That not a beggar would accept. Had he the power to spurn. 14. I went to thank her. But she slept. Her bed a funneled stone. With nosegays at the head and foot. That travellers had thrown. Who went to thank her? But she slept. T was short to cross the sea. To look upon her like, alive. But turning back, T was slow. 15. I've seen a dying eye. Run round and round a room. In search of something, as it seemed. Then cloudier become. And then, obscure with fog. And then be soldered down. Without disclosing what it be. T were blessed to have seen. 16. Refuge. The clouds their backs together laid. The north begun to push. The forests galloped till they fell. The lightning skipped like mice. The thunder crumbled like a stuff. How good to be safe in tombs. Where nature's temper cannot reach. Nor vengeance ever comes. 17. I never saw a moor. I never saw the sea. Yet know I how the heather looks. And what a wave must be. I never spoke with God. Nor visited in heaven. Yet certain am I of the spot. As if the chart were given. 18. Playmates. God permits industrious angels. Afternoons to play. I met one, forgot my schoolmates. All, for him, straightway. God calls home the angels promptly. At the setting sun. I missed mine. How dreary marbles. After playing crown. 19. To know just how he suffered would be dear. To know if any human eyes were near. To whom he could entrust his wavering gaze. Until it settled firm on paradise. To know if he was patient, part content. Was dying as he thought, or different. Was it a pleasant day to die? And did the sunshine face his way? What was his furthest mind, of home, or God? Or what the distant say? At news that he ceased human nature. On such a day. And wishes, had he any. Just his sigh, accented. Had been legible to me. And was he confident until. Ill fluttered out in everlasting well. And if he spoke, what name was best? What first? What one broke off with? At the drowsiest? Was he afraid, or tranquil? Might he know? How conscious consciousness could grow? 
till love that was, and love too blessed to be. Meet, and the junction be eternity. XX. The last night that she lived. It was a common night. Except the dying. This to us. Made nature different. We noticed smallest things. Things overlooked before. By this great light upon our minds. Italicized, as, T were. That others could exist. While she must finish quite. A jealousy for her arose. So nearly infinite. We waited while she passed. It was a narrow time. Too jostled were our souls to speak. At length the notice came. She mentioned, and forgot. Then lightly as a reed. Bent to the water, shivered scarce. Consented, and was dead. And we, we placed the hair. And drew the head erect. And then an awful leisure was. Our faith to regulate. 21. The first lesson. Not in this world to see his face. Sounds long, until I read the place. Where this is said to be. But just the primer to a life. Unopened, rare, upon the shelf. Clasped yet to him and me. And yet, my primer suits me so. I would not choose a book to know. Then that, be sweeter wise. Might someone else so learned be. And leave me just my A B C. Himself could have the skies. 22. The bustle in a house. The morning after death. Is solemnest of industries. Enacted upon earth. The sweeping up the heart. And putting love away. We shall not want to use again. Until eternity. 23. I reason, earth is short. And anguish absolute. And many hurt. But what of that? I reason, we could die. The best vitality. Cannot excel decay. But what of that? I reason that in heaven. Somehow, it will be even. Some new equation given. But what of that? 24. Afraid? Of whom am I afraid? Not death, for who is he? The porter of my father's lodge. As much abasheth me. Of life? T were odd I fear a thing. That comprehendeth me. In one or more existences. At deity's decree. Of resurrection? Is the east. Afraid to trust the morn. With her fastidious forehead. As soon impeach my crown. 25. Dying. The sun kept setting, setting still. No hue of afternoon. Upon the village I perceived. From house to house, tea was noon. The dusk kept dropping, dropping still. No dew upon the grass. But only on my forehead stopped. And wandered in my face. My feet kept drowsing, drowsing still. My fingers were awake. Yet why so little sound myself? Unto my seeming make. How well I knew the light before. I could not see it now. T is dying, I am doing, but. I'm not afraid to know. 26. Two swimmers wrestled on the spar. Until the morning sun. When one turned smiling to the land. Oh God, the other one. The stray ships passing spied a face. Upon the waters borne. With eyes in death still begging raised. And hands beseeching throne. 27. The chariot. Because I could not stop for death. He kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves. And immortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste. And I had put away. My labor, and my leisure too. For his civility. We passed the school where children played. Their lessons scarcely done. We passed the fields of gazing grain. We passed the setting sun. We paused before a house that seemed. A swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible. 
the cornice but a mound. Since then t is centuries, but each feels shorter than the day. I first surmised the horses' heads. We're toward eternity. 28. She went as quiet as the dew. From a familiar flower. Not like the dew did she return. At the accustomed hour. She dropped as softly as a star. From out my summer's eve. Less skillful than leverier. It's sore to believe. 29. Raysergum. At last to be identified. At last, the lamps upon thy side. The rest of life to see. Past midnight, past the morning star. Past sunrise. Ah! What leagues there are. Between our feet and day. Triple X. Except to heaven, she is not. Except for angels, lone. Except to some wide wandering bee. A flower superfluous blown. Except for winds, provincial. Except by butterflies. Unnoticed as a single dew. That on the acre lies. The smallest housewife in the grass. Yet take her from the lawn. And somebody has lost the face. That made existence home. 31. Death is a dialogue between. The spirit and the dust. Dissolve, says death. The spirit, sir. I have another trust. Death doubts it, argues from the ground. The spirit turns away. Just laying off, for evidence. An overcoat of clay. 32. It was too late for man. But early yet for God. Creation impotent to help. But prayer remained our side. How excellent the heaven. When earth cannot be had. How hospitable, then, the face. Of our old neighbor, God. 33. Along the Potomac. When I was small, a woman died. Today her only boy. Went up from the Potomac. His face all victory. To look at her, how slowly. The seasons must have turned. Till bullets clipped an angle. And he passed quickly round. If pride shall be in paradise. I never can decide. Of their imperial conduct. No person testified. But proud in apparition. That woman and her boy. Pass back and forth before my brain. As ever in the sky. 34. The daisy follows soft the sun. And when his golden walk is done. Sits shyly at his feet. He, waking, finds the flower near. Wherefore, marauder, art thou here? Because, sir, love is sweet. We are the flower, thou the sun. Forgive us, if as days decline. We nearer steal to thee. Enamored of the parting west. The peace, the flight, the amethyst. Night's possibility. 35. Emancipation. No rack can torture me. My soul's at liberty. Behind this mortal bone. There knits a bolder one. You cannot prick with saw. Nor rend with scimitar. Two bodies therefore be. Bind one, and one will flee. The eagle of his nest. No easier divest. And gain the sky. Then mayest thou. Except thyself may be. Thine enemy. Captivity is consciousness. So's liberty. 36. Lost. I lost a world the other day. Has anybody found? You'll know it by the row of stars. Around its forehead bound. A rich man might not notice it. Yet to my frugal eye. Of more esteem than ducats. Oh, find it, sir, for me. 37. If I shouldn't be alive. When the robins come. Give the one in red cravat. A memorial crumb. If I couldn't thank you. Being just asleep. You will know I'm trying. With my granite lip. 38. Sleep is supposed to be. 
by souls of sanity. The shutting of the eye. Sleep is the station grand. Down which on either hand. The hosts of witness stand. Morn is supposed to be. By people of degree. The breaking of the day. Morning has not occurred. That shall aurora be. East of eternity. One with the banner gay. One in the red array. That is the break of day. 39. I shall know why, when time is over. And I have ceased to wonder why. Christ will explain each separate anguish. In the fair schoolroom of the sky. He will tell me what Peter promised. And I, for wonder at his woe. I shall forget the drop of anguish. That scalds me now, that scalds me now. XL. I never lost as much but twice. And that was in the sod. Twice have I stood a beggar. Before the door of God. Angels, twice descending. Reimbursed my store. Burglar, banker, father. I am poor once more. Poems. By Emily Dickinson. Second series. Edited by two of her friends. Mabel Loomis Todd and T. W. Higginson. Preface. The eagerness with which the first volume of Emily Dickinson's poems has been read shows very clearly that all our alleged modern artificiality does not prevent a prompt appreciation of the qualities of directness and simplicity in approaching the greatest themes. Life and Love and Death That, irresistible needle touch, as one of her best critics has called it, piercing at once the very core of a thought, has found a response as wide and sympathetic as it has been unexpected even to those who knew best her compelling power. This second volume, while open to the same criticism as to form with its predecessor, shows also the same shining beauties. Although Emily Dickinson had been in the habit of sending occasional poems to friends and correspondents, the full extent of her writing was by no means imagined by them. Her friend H.H. H. must at least have suspected it, for in a letter dated September 5, 1884, she wrote. My dear friend, what portfolios full of verses you must have. It is a cruel wrong to your day and generation that you will not give them light. If such a thing should happen as that I should outlive you, I wish you would make me your literary legatee and executor. Surely after you are what is called dead, you will be willing that the poor ghosts you have left behind should be cheered and pleased by your verses, will you not? You ought to be. I do not think we have a right to withhold from the world a word or a thought any more than a deed which might help a single soul. Truly yours. Helen Jackson. The portfolios were found, shortly after Emily Dickinson's death, by her sister and only surviving housemate. Most of the poems had been carefully copied on sheets of notepaper, and tied in little fascicules, each of six or eight sheets. While many of them bear evidence of having been thrown off at white heat, still more had received thoughtful revision. There is the frequent addition of rather perplexing footnotes, affording large choice of words and phrases. And in the copies which she sent to friends, sometimes one form, sometimes another, is found to have been used. Without important exception, her friends have generously placed at the disposal of the editors any poems they had received from her. And these have given the obvious advantage of comparison among several renderings of the same verse. To what further rigorous pruning her verses would have been subjected had she published them herself, we cannot know. They should be regarded in many cases as merely the first strong and suggestive sketches of an artist, intended to be embodied at some time in the finished picture. Emily Dickinson appears to have written her first poems in the winter of 1862. In a letter to one of the present editors the April following, she says, I made no verse, but one or two, until this winter. The handwriting was at first somewhat like the delicate, running Italian hand of our elder gentlewomen. But as she advanced in breadth of thought, it grew bolder and more abrupt, until in her latest years each letter stood distinct and separate from its fellows. In most of her poems, particularly the later ones, Everything by way of punctuation was discarded, except numerous dashes, and all important words began with capitals. 
the effect of a page of her more recent manuscript is exceedingly quaint and strong. The FAC simile given in the present volume is from one of the earlier transition periods. Although there is nowhere a date, the handwriting makes it possible to arrange the poems with general chronologic accuracy. As a rule, the verses were without titles. But, a country burial, a thunderstorm, the hummingbird, and a few others were named by their author, frequently at the end, sometimes only in the accompanying note, if sent to a friend. The variation of readings, with the fact that she often wrote in pencil and not always clearly, have at times thrown a good deal of responsibility upon her editors. But all interference not absolutely inevitable has been avoided. The very roughness of her rendering is part of herself, and not lightly to be touched, for it seems in many cases that she intentionally avoided the smoother and more usual rhymes. Like Impressionist pictures, or Wagner's rugged music, the very absence of conventional form challenges attention. In Emily Dickinson's Exacting Hands, the especial, intrinsic fitness of a particular order of words might not be sacrificed to anything virtually extrinsic, and her verses all show a strange cadence of inner rhythmical music. Lines are always daringly constructed, and the thought rhyme appears frequently, appealing, indeed, to an unrecognized sense more elusive than hearing. Emily Dickinson scrutinized everything with clear-eyed frankness. Every subject was proper ground for legitimate study, even the somber facts of death and burial, and the unknown life beyond. She touches these themes sometimes lightly, sometimes almost humorously, more often with weird and peculiar power. But she is never by any chance frivolous or trivial. And while, as one critic has said, she may exhibit toward God an Emersonian self-possession, it was because she looked upon all life with a candor as unprejudiced as it is rare. She had tried society and the world, and found them lacking. She was not an invalid, and she lived in seclusion from no love disappointment. Her life was the normal blossoming of a nature introspective to a high degree, whose best thought could not exist in pretense. Storm, wind, the wild March sky, sunsets and dawns. The birds and bees, butterflies and flowers of her garden, with a few trusted human friends, were sufficient companionship. The coming of the first robin was a jubilee beyond crowning of monarch or birthday of pope. The first red leaf hurrying through, the altered air, an epoch. Immortality was close about her, and while never morbid or melancholy, she lived in its presence. Mabel Loomis Todd. Amherst, Massachusetts. August, 1891. My nosegays are for captives. Dim, long expectant eyes. Fingers denied the plucking. Patient till paradise. To such, if they should whisper. Of mourning and the more. They bear no other errand. And I, no other prayer. I, life. I. I'm nobody. Who are you? Are you nobody, too? Then there, s a pair of us, don't tell. They, d banish us, you know. How dreary to be somebody. How public, like a frog. To tell your name the live long day. To an admiring bog. Two. I bring an unaccustomed wine. To lips long parching, next to mine and summon them to drink. Crackling with fever, they essay. I turn my brimming eyes away. And come next hour to look. The hands still hug the tardy glass. The lips I would have cooled, alas. Are so superfluous cold. I would as soon attempt to warm. The bosoms where the frost has lain. Ages beneath the mold. Some other thirsty there may be. To whom this would have pointed me. Had it remained to speak. And so I always bear the cup. If, haply, mine may be the drop. Some pilgrim thirst to slake. If, haply, any say to me. Unto the little, unto me. When I at last awake. 3. The nearest dream recedes, unrealized. The heaven we chase. Like the June bee before the schoolboy. Invites the race. Stoops to an easy clover. 
dips, evades, teases, deploys. Then to the royal clouds. Lifts his light pinnace. Heedless of the boy. Staring, bewildered, at the mocking sky. Homesick for steadfast honey. Ah! The bee flies not. That bruise that rare variety. 4. We play at paste. Till qualified for pearl. Then drop the paste. And deem ourself a fool. The shapes, though, were similar. And our new hands. Learn gem tactics. Practicing sans. V. I found the phrase to every thought. I ever had, but one. And that defies me, as a hand. Did try to chalk the sun. To races nurtured in the dark. How would your own begin? Can blaze be done in cochineal? Or noon in mazarine? 6. Hope. Hope is the thing with feathers. That perches in the soul. And sings the tune without the words. And never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard. And sore must be the storm. That could abash the little bird. That kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land. And on the strangest sea. Yet, never, in extremity. It asked a crumb of me. 7. The white heat. Dare you see a soul at the white heat? Then crouch within the door. Red is the fire's common tint. But when the vivid ore has sated flame's conditions, its quivering substance plays without a color but the light of unanointed blaze. Least village boasts its blacksmith, whose anvils even din stand symbol for the finer forge that soundless tugs within, refining these impatient ores with hammer and with blaze, until the designated light repudiate the forge. 8. Triumphant. Who never lost, are unprepared. A coronet to find. Who never thirsted, flagons. And cooling tamarind. Who never climbed the weary league. Can such a foot explore. The purple territories. On Pizarro's shore. How many legions overcome? The emperor will say. How many colors taken? On Revolution Day? How many bullets bearest? The royal scar hast thou. Angels, right, promoted. On this soldier's brow. 9. The test. I can wade grief. Whole pools of it. I'm used to that. But the least push of joy. Breaks up my feet. And I tip, drunken. Let no pebble smile. Tea was the new liquor. That was all. Power is only pain. Stranded, through discipline. Till weights will hang. Give balm to giants. And they ll wilt, like men. Give him a They ll carry him. X. Escape. I never hear the word escape. Without a quicker blood. A sudden expectation. A flying attitude. I never hear of prisons broad. By soldiers battered down. But I tug childish at my bars. Only to fail again. 11. Compensation. For each ecstatic instant. We must in anguish pay. In keen and quivering ratio. To the ecstasy. For each beloved hour. Sharp pittances of years. Bitter contested farthings and coffers heaped with tears. 12. The martyrs. Through the straight pass of suffering. The martyrs even trod. Their feet upon temptation. Their faces upon God. A stately, shriven company. Convulsion playing round. Harmless as streaks of meteor. Upon a planet's bound. Their faith the everlasting troth. Their expectation fair. The needle to the north degree. Wade so, through polar air. 
13. A prayer. I meant to have but modest needs. Such as content, and heaven. Within my income these could lie. And life and I keep even. But since the last included both. It would suffice my prayer. But just for one to stipulate. And grace would grant the pair. And so, upon this wise I prayed. Great Spirit, give to me. A heaven not so large as yours. But large enough for me. A smile suffused Jehovah's face. The cherubim withdrew. Grave saints stole out to look at me. And showed their dimples, too. I left the place with all my might. My prayer away I threw. The quiet ages picked it up. And judgment twinkled, too. That one so honest be extant. As take the tale for true. That, whatsoever you shall ask. Itself be given you. But I, grown shrewder, scan the skies. With a suspicious air. As children, swindled for the first. All swindlers be, infer. 14. The thought beneath so slight a film. Is more distinctly seen. As laces just reveal the surge. Or mists the apennine. 15. The soul unto itself. Is an imperial friend. Or the most agonizing spy. An enemy could send. Secure against its own. No treason it can fear. Itself its sovereign, of itself. The soul should stand in awe. 16. Surgeons must be very careful. When they take the knife. Underneath their fine incisions. Stirs the culprit, life. 17. The railway train. I like to see it lap the miles. And lick the valleys up. And stop to feed itself at tanks. And then, prodigious, step. Around a pile of mountains. And, supercilious, peer. In shanties by the sides of roads. And then a quarry pair. To fit its sides, and crawl between. Complaining all the while. In horrid, hooting stanza. Then chase itself downhill. And neigh like Boanerges. Then, punctual as a star. Stop, docile and omnipotent. At its own stable door. 18. The show. The show is not the show. But they that go. Menagerie to me. My neighbor be. Fair play. Both went to see. 19. Delight becomes pictorial. When viewed through pain. More fair, because impossible. That any gain. The mountain at a given distance. In amber lies. Approached, the amber flits a little. And that, s the skies. XX. A thought went up my mind today. That I have had before. But did not finish, some way back. I could not fix the year. Nor where it went, nor why it came. The second time to me. Nor definitely what it was. Have I the art to say. But somewhere in my soul, I know. I've met the thing before. It just reminded me, tea was all. And came my way no more. 21. Is heaven a physician? They say that he can heal. But medicine posthumous. Is unavailable. Is heaven an exchequer? They speak of what we owe. But that negotiation. I'm not a party to. 22. The return. Though I get home how late, how late. So I get home, T will compensate. Better will be the ecstasy. That they have done expecting me. When, night descending, dumb and dark. They hear my unexpected knock. Transporting must the moment be. Brewed from decades of agony. To think just how the fire will burn. Just how long cheated eyes will turn. To wonder what myself will say. And what itself will say to me. Beguiles the centuries of way. 23. 
A poor torn heart, a tattered heart. That sat it down to rest. Nor noticed that the ebbing day flowed silver to the west. Nor noticed night did soft descend. Nor constellation burn. Intent upon the vision of latitudes unknown. The angels, happening that way, this dusty heart espied, tenderly took it up from toil, and carried it to God. There, sandals for the barefoot. There, gathered from the gales. Do the blue havens by the hand. Lead the wandering sails. 24. Too much. I should have been too glad, I see. Too lifted for the scant degree. Of life's penurious round. My little circuit would have shamed. This new circumference, have blamed. The homelier time behind. I should have been too saved, I see. Too rescued, fear too dim to me. That I could spell the prayer. I knew so perfect yesterday. That scalding one, Sabbath Thani. Recited fluent here. Earth would have been too much, I see. And heaven not enough for me. I should have had the joy. Without the fear to justify. The palm without the calvary. So, Savior, crucify. Defeat wits victory, they say. The reefs in old Gethsemane. Endear the shore beyond. T is beggar's banquets best define. T is thirsting vitalizes wine. Faith faints to understand. 25. Shipwreck. It tossed and tossed. A little brig I knew. Ertuk by blast. It spun and spun. And groped delirious, forlorn. It slipped and slipped. As one that drunken stepped. Its white foot tripped. Then dropped from sight. Ah, brig, good night. To crew and you. The ocean's heart too smooth, too blue. To break for you. 26. Victory comes late. And is held low to freezing lips. Too wrapped with frost. To take it. How sweet it would have tasted. Just a drop. Was God so economical? His table s spread too high for us. Unless we dine on tiptoe. Crumbs fit such little mouths. Cherries suit robins. The eagle's golden breakfast. Strangles them. God keeps his oath to sparrows. Who of little love. Know how to starve. 27. Enough. God gave a loaf to every bird. But just a crumb to me. I dare not eat it, though I starve. My poignant luxury. To own it, touch it, prove the feat. That made the pellet mine. Too happy in my sparrow chance. For ampler coveting. It might be famine all around. I could not miss an ear. Such plenty smiles upon my board. My garner shows so fair. I wonder how the rich may feel. An India man, an earl. I deem that I with but a crumb. I am sovereign of them all. 28. Experiment to me. Is everyone I meet. If it contain a kernel. The figure of a nut. Presence upon a tree. Equally plausibly. But meat within is requisite. To squirrels and to me. 29. My country's wardrobe. My country need not change her gown. Her triple suit as sweet. As when tea was cut at Lexington. And first pronounced a fit. Great Britain disapproves the stars. Disparagement discreet. There is something in their attitude. That taunts her bayonet. Triple X. Faith is a fine invention. For gentlemen who see. But microscopes are prudent. In an emergency. 31. Except the heaven had come so near. So seemed to choose my door. The distance would not haunt me so. I had not hoped before. But just to hear the grace depart. I never thought to see. 
afflicts me with a double loss. T is lost, and lost to me. 32. Portraits are to daily faces. As an evening west. To a fine, pedantic sunshine. In a satin vest. 33. The duel. I took my power in my hand. And went against the world. T was not so much as David had. But I was twice as bold. I aimed my pebble, but myself. Was all the one that fell. Was it Goliath was too large? Or only I too small? 34. A shady friend for torrid days. Is easier to find. Than one of higher temperature. For frigid hour of mind. The vein a little to the east. Scares muslin souls away. If broadcloth breasts are firmer. Than those of organdy. Who is to blame? The weaver. Ah! The bewildering thread. The tapestries of paradise. So notelessly are made. 35. The goal. Each life converges to some center. Expressed or still. Exists in every human nature. A goal. Admitted scarcely to itself, it may be. Too fair. For credibility's temerity. To dare. Adored with caution, as a brittle heaven. To reach. Were hopeless as the rainbow's raiment. To touch. Yet persevered toward, surer for the distance. How high. Unto the saint's slow diligence. The sky. Ungained, it may be, by a life's low venture. But then. Eternity enables the endeavoring. Again. 36. Sight. Before I got my eye put out. I liked as well to see. As other creatures that have eyes. And know no other way. But were it told to me, today. That I might have the sky. For mine, I tell you that my heart. Would split, for size of me. The meadow's mine, the mountain's mine. All forests, stintless stars. As much of noon as I could take. Between my finite eyes. The motions of the dipping birds. The lightning's jointed road. For mine to look at when I liked. The news would strike me dead. So safer, guess, with just my soul. Upon the window pane. Where other creatures put their eyes. Incautious of the sun. 37. Talk with prudence to a beggar. Of, potasy, and the mines. Reverently to the hungry. Of your viands and your wines. Cautious, hint to any captive. You have passed in franchised feet. Anecdotes of air in dungeons. Have sometimes proved deadly sweet. 38. The preacher. He preached upon, breadth, till it argued him narrow. The broad are too broad to define and of truth until it proclaimed him a liar. The truth never flaunted a sign. Simplicity fled from his counterfeit presence. As gold the parites would shun. What confusion would cover the innocent Jesus? To meet so enabled a man. 39. Good night. Which put the candle out. A jealous zephyr, not a doubt. Ah! Friend, you little knew. How long at that celestial wick? The angels labored diligent. Extinguished, now, for you. It might have been the lighthouse spark. Some sailor, rowing in the dark. Had importuned to see. It might have been the waning lamp. That lit the drummer from the camp. To purer reveille. Excel. When I hoped I feared. Since I hoped I dared. Everywhere alone. As a church remain. Specter cannot harm. Serpent cannot charm. He deposes doom. Who hath suffered him? XLI. Deed. A deed knocks first at thought. And then it knocks at will. That is the manufacturing spot. And will at home and well. 
it then goes out in act. Or is entombed so still. That only to the ear of God. Its doom is audible. 42. Time's lesson. Mine enemy is growing old. I have at last revenge. The palate of the hate departs. If any would avenge. Let him be quick, the viand flits. It is a faded meat. Anger as soon as fed is dead. Tea is starving makes it fat. 43. Remorse. Remorse is memory awake. Her company's astir. A presence of departed acts. At window and at door. Its past set down before the soul. And lighted with a match. Perusal to facilitate. Of its condensed dispatch. Remorse is cureless, the disease. Not even God can heal. For T is his institution. The complement of hell. 44. The shelter. The body grows outside. The more convenient way. That if the spirit like to hide. Its temple stands alway. Ajar, secure, inviting. It never did betray. The soul that asked its shelter. In timid honesty. XLV. Undue significance a starving man attaches. To food. Far off, he sighs, and therefore hopeless. And therefore good. Partaken, it relieves indeed, but proves us. That spices fly. In the receipt. It was the distance. Was savory. 46. Heart not so heavy as mine. Wending late home. As it passed my window. Whistled itself a tune. A careless snatch, a ballad. A ditty of the street. Yet to my irritated ear. An anodyne so sweet. It was as if a bobolink. Sauntering this way. Caroled and mused and caroled. Then bubbled slow away. It was as if a chirping brook. Upon a toilsome way. Set bleeding feet to minuets. Without the knowing why. Tomorrow, night will come again. Weary, perhaps, and sore. Ah, bugle, by my window. I pray you stroll once more. 47. I many times thought peace had come. When peace was far away. As wrecked men deem they sight the land. At center of the sea. And struggle slacker, but to prove. As hopelessly as I. How many the fictitious shores. Before the harbor lie. 48. Unto my book so good to turn. Far ends of tired days. It half endears the abstinence. And pain is missed in praise. As flavors cheer retarded guests. With banquetings to be. So spices stimulate the time. Till my small library. It may be wilderness without. Far feet of failing men. But holiday excludes the night. And it is bells within. I thank these kinsmen of the shelf. Their countenance is bland. Enamor in perspective. And satisfy, obtained. 49. This merit hath the worst. It cannot be again. When fate hath taunted last. And thrown her furthest stone. The maimed may pause and breathe. And glance securely round. The deer invites no longer. Then it eludes the hound. L. Hunger. I had been hungry all the years. My noon had come, to dine. I, trembling, drew the table near. And touched the curious wine. Tea was this on tables I had seen. When turning, hungry, lone. I looked in windows, for the wealth. I could not hope to own. I did not know the ample bread. Tea was so unlike the crumb. The birds and I had often shared. In nature's dining room. The plenty hurt me, tea was so new. Myself felt ill and odd. As berry of a mountain bush. Transplanted to the road. 
Nor was I hungry, so I found. That hunger was a way. Of persons outside windows. The entering takes away. Lee. I gained it so. By climbing slow. By catching at the twigs that grow. Between the bliss and me. It hung so high. As well the sky. Attempt by strategy. I said I gained it. This was all. Look, how I clutch it. Lest it fall. And I a pauper go. Unfitted by an instant's grace. For the contented beggar's face. I wore an hour ago. Lee. To learn the transport by the pain. As blind men learn the sun. To die of thirst, suspecting. That brooks in meadows run. To stay the homesick, homesick feet. Upon a foreign shore. Haunted by native lands, the while. And blue, beloved air. This is the sovereign anguish. This, the signal woe. These are the patient laureates. Whose voices, trained below. Ascend in ceaseless carol. Inaudible, indeed. To us, the duller scholars. Of the mysterious bard. 53. Returning. I years had been from home. And now, before the door. I dared not open, lest a face. I never saw before. Stare vacant into mine. And ask my business there. My business, just a life I left. Was such still dwelling there? I fumbled at my nerve. I scanned the windows near. The silence like an ocean rolled. And broke against my ear. I laughed a wooden laugh. That I could fear a door. Who danger and the dead had faced. But never quaked before. I fitted to the latch. My hand, with trembling care. Lest back the awful door should spring. And leave me standing there. I moved my fingers off. As cautiously as glass. And held my ears, and like a thief. Fled gasping from the house. Live. Prayer. Prayer is the little implement. Through which men reach. Where presence is denied them. They fling their speech. By means of it in God's ear. If then he hear. This sums the apparatus. Comprised in prayer. L.V. I know that he exists. Somewhere, in silence. He has hid his rare life. From our gross eyes. T is an instance play. T is a fond ambush. Just to make bliss. Earn her own surprise. But should the play prove piercing earnest? Should the glee glaze in death's stiff stare? Would not the fun look too expensive? Would not the jest have crawled too far? LVI. Melodies unheard. Musicians wrestle everywhere. All day, among the crowded air, I hear the silver strife. And, waking long before the dawn, such transport breaks upon the town. I think it that, new life. It is not bird, it has no nest. Nor band, in brass and scarlet dressed. Nor tambourine, nor man. It is not him from pulpit red. The morning stars the treble led. On time's first afternoon. Some say it is the spheres at play. Some say that bright majority of vanished dames and men. Some think it service in the place where we, with late, celestial face, please God, shall ascertain. 57. Called back. Just lost when I was saved. Just felt the world go by. Just girt me for the onset with eternity. When breath blew back. And on the other side. I heard recede the disappointed tide. Therefore, as one returned, I feel. Odd secrets of the line to tell. Some sailor, skirting foreign shores. Some pale reporter from the awful doors. Before the seal. 
Next time, to stay. Next time, the things to see. By ear unheard. Unscrutinized by eye. Next time, to tarry. While the ages steal. Slow tramp the centuries. And the cycles wheel. To, love. I. Choice. Of all the souls that stand create. I have elected one. When sense from spirit files away. And subterfuge is done. When that which is and that which was. Apart, intrinsic, stand. And this brief tragedy of flesh. Is shifted like a sand. When figures show their royal front. And mists are carved away. Behold the atom I preferred. To all the lists of clay. 2. I have no life but this. To lead it here. Nor any death, but lest. Dispelled from there. Nor tie to earth's to come. Nor action new. Except through this extent. The realm of you. 3. Your riches taught me poverty. Myself a millionaire. In little wealths, as girls could boast. Till broad as Buenos air. You drifted your dominions. A different Peru. And I esteemed all poverty. For life's estate with you. Of mines I little know, myself. But just the names of gems. The colors of the commonest. And scarce of diadems. So much that, did I meet the queen. Her glory I should know. But this must be a different wealth. To miss it beggars so. I'm sure, T is India all day. To those who look on you. Without a stint, without a blame. Might I but be the Jew. I'm sure it is Golconda. Beyond my power to deem. To have a smile for mine each day. How better than a gem. At least, it solaces to know. That there exists a gold. Although I prove it just in time. It's distance to behold. It, s far, far treasure to surmise. And estimate the pearl. That slipped my simple fingers through. While just a girl at school. 4. The contract. I gave myself to him. And took himself for pay. The solemn contract of a life. Was ratified this way. The wealth might disappoint. Myself a poorer prove. Then this great purchaser suspect. The daily own of love. Depreciate the vision. But, till the merchant buy. Still fable, in the isles of spice. The subtle cargoes lie. At least, T is mutual risk. Some found it mutual gain. Sweet debt of life, each night to owe. Insolvent, every noon. V. The letter. Going to him. Happy letter. Tell him. Tell him the page I didn't write. Tell him I only said the syntax. And left the verb and the pronoun out. Tell him just how the fingers hurried. Then how they waited, slow, slow, slow. And then you wished you had eyes in your pages. So you could see what moved them so. Tell him it wasn't a practiced writer. You guessed, from the way the sentence toiled. You could hear the bodice tug, behind you. As if it held but the might of a child. You almost pitted it, you, it worked so. Tell him, no, you may quibble there. For it would split his heart to know it. And then you and I were silenter. Tell him night finished before we finished. And the old clock kept name, day. And you got sleepy and begged to be ended. What could it hinder so, to say? Tell him just how she sealed you, cautious. But if he ask where you are hid. Until tomorrow, happy letter. Gesture, coquette, and shake your head. 6. The way I read a letter, s this. T is first I lock the door. And push it with my fingers next. For transport it be sure. And then I go the furthest off. To counteract a knock. Then draw my little letter forth. 
and softly pick its lock. Then, glancing narrow at the wall, and narrow at the floor, for firm conviction of a mouse, not exorcised before, peruse how infinite I am, to, no one that you know, and sigh for lack of heaven, but not, the heaven the creeds bestow. 7. Wild nights. Wild nights. Were I with thee. Wild nights should be. Our luxury. Feudal the winds. To a heart in port. Done with the compass. Done with the chart. Rowing in Eden. Ah. The sea. Might I but more. Tonight in thee. 8. At home. The night was wide, and furnished scant. With but a single star. That often as a cloud it met. Blew out itself for fear. The wind pursued the little bush. And drove away the leaves. November left, then clambered up. And fretted in the eaves. No squirrel went abroad. A dog's belated feet. Like intermittent plush were heard. Adown the empty street. To feel if blinds be fast. And closer to the fire. Her little rocking chair to draw. And shiver for the poor. The housewife's gentle task. How pleasanter, said she. Unto the sofa opposite. The sleep then may, know thee. 9. Possession. Did the harebell loose her girdle? To the lover be. Would the bee the harebell hallow? Much as formerly. Did the paradise, persuaded. Yield her mote of pearl. Would the Eden be an Eden. Or the Earl an Earl. X. A charm invests a face. Imperfectly beheld. The lady dare not lift her veil. For fear it be dispelled. But peers beyond her mesh. And wishes, and denies. Lest interview a nulla want. That image satisfies. 11. The lovers. The rose did caper on her cheek. Her bodice rose and fell. Her pretty speech, like drunken men. Did stagger pitiful. Her fingers fumbled at her work. Her needle would not go. What ailed so smart a little maid? It puzzled me to know. Till opposite I spied a cheek. That bore another rose. Just opposite, another speech. That like the drunkard goes. A vest that, like the bodice, danced. To the immortal tune. Till those two troubled little clocks. Ticked softly into one. Twelve. In lands I never saw, they say. Immortal Alps look down. Whose bonnets touch the firmament. Whose sandals touch the town. Meek at whose everlasting feet. A myriad daisies play. Which, sir, are you, and which am I? Upon an August day. 13. The moon is distant from the sea. And yet with amber hands. She leads him, docile as a boy. Along appointed sands. He never misses a degree. Obedient to her eye. He comes just so far toward the town. Just so far goes away. Oh, senior, thine the amber hand. And mine the distant sea. Obedient to the least command. Thine eyes impose on me. 14. He put the belt around my life. I heard the buckle snap. And turned away, imperial. My lifetime folding up. Deliberate, as a duke would do. A kingdom's title deed. Henceforth a dedicated sort. A member of the cloud. Yet not too far to come at call. And do the little toils. That make the circuit of the rest. And deal occasional smiles. To lives that stoop to notice mine. And kindly ask it in. Whose invitation, knew you not. For whom I must decline. 15. The Lost Jewel. I held a jewel in my fingers. And went to sleep. 
The day was warm, and winds were prosy. I said, tea will keep. I woke and chid my honest fingers. The gem was gone. And now an amethyst remembrance. Is all I own. 16. What if I say I shall not wait? What if I burst the fleshly gate? And pass, escaped, to thee? What if I file this mortal off? See where it hurt me, that, s enough. And wade in liberty? They cannot take us any more. Dungeons may call, and guns implore. Unmeaning now, to me. As laughter was an hour ago. Or laces, or a traveling show. Or who died yesterday. Free, nature. I. Mother nature. Nature, the gentlest mother. Impatient of no child. The feeblest or the waywardest. Her admonition mild. In forest and the hill. By traveler is heard. Restraining rampant squirrel. Or too impetuous bird. How fair her conversation. A summer afternoon. Her household, her assembly. And when the sun goes down. Her voice among the aisles. Incites the timid prayer. Of the minutest cricket. The most unworthy flower. When all the children sleep. She turns as long away. As will suffice to light her lamps. Then, bending from the sky with infinite affection, and infiniter care, her golden finger on her lip, wills silence everywhere. 2. Out of the morning. Will there really be a morning? Is there such a thing as day? Could I see it from the mountains? If I were as tall as they? Has it feet like water lilies? Has it feathers like a bird? Is it brought from famous countries? Of which I have never heard. Oh, some scholar. Oh, some sailor. Oh, some wise man from the skies. Please to tell a little pilgrim. Where the place called morning lies. 3. At half past three a single bird. Unto a silent sky. Propounded but a single term. Of cautious melody. At half past four, experiment had subjugated test. And lo! Her silver principle. Supplanted all the rest. At half-past seven, element. Nor implement was seen. And place was where the presence was. Circumference between. Four. Day's parlor. The day came slow, till five o'clock. Then sprang before the hills. Like hindered rubies or the light. A sudden musket spills. The purple could not keep the east. The sunrise shook from fold. Like breadths of topaz, packed a night. The lady just unrolled. The happy winds their timbrels took. The birds, in docile rows. Arranged themselves around their prince. The wind is prince of those. The orchard sparkled like a Jew. How mighty T was, to stay. A guest in this stupendous place. The parlor of the day. V. The sun's wooing. The sun just touched the morning. The morning, happy thing. Suppose that he had come to dwell. And life would be all spring. She felt herself supremer. A raised, ethereal thing. Henceforth for her what holiday. Meanwhile, her wheeling king. Trailed slow along the orchards. His haughty, spangled hems. Leaving a new necessity. The want of diadems. The morning fluttered, staggered. Felt feebly for her crown. Her unanointed forehead. Henceforth her only one. 6. The robin. The robin is the one. That interrupts the morn. With hurried, few, express reports. When March is scarcely on. The robin is the one. That overflows the noon. With her cherubic quantity. An April but begun. The robin is the one. That speechless from her nest. 
submits that home and certainty and sanctity are best. 7. The Butterfly's Day From cocoon forth a butterfly As lady from her door Emerged, a summer afternoon Repairing everywhere Without design, that I could trace Except to stray abroad On miscellaneous enterprise The clovers understood Her pretty parasol was seen Contracting in a field Where men made hay, then struggling hard with an opposing cloud. Where parties, phantom as herself. To nowhere seem to go. In purposeless circumference. As, T were a tropic show. And notwithstanding B that worked. And flower that zealous blew. This audience of idleness. Disdained them, from the sky. Till sundown crept, a steady tide. And men that made the hay. And afternoon, and butterfly. Extinguished in its sea. 8. The bluebird. Before you thought of spring. Except as a surmise. You see, God bless his suddenness. A fellow in the skies. Of independent hues. A little weather-worn. Inspiriting habiliments. Of indigo and brown. With specimens of song. As if for you to choose. Discretion in the interval. With gay delays he goes. To some superior tree. Without a single leaf. And shouts for joy to nobody. But his seraphic self. 9. April. An altered look about the hills. A Tyrian light the village fills. A wider sunrise in the dawn. A deeper twilight on the lawn. A print of a vermilion foot. A purple finger on the slope. A flippant flight upon the pane. A spider at his trade again. An added strut enchanticlear. A flower expected everywhere. An axe shrill singing in the woods. Fern odors on untraveled roads. All this, and more I cannot tell. A furtive look you know as well. And Nicodemus mystery. Receives its annual reply. X. The sleeping flowers. Whose are the little beds, I asked. Which in the valleys lie? Some shook their heads, and others smiled. And no one made reply. Perhaps they did not hear, I said. I will inquire again. Whose are the beds, the tiny beds? So thick upon the plain. T is daisy in the shortest. A little farther on. Nearest the door to wake the first. Little Leontodon. T is Iris, Sir, and Aster. Anemone and Bell. Bachia in the blanket red. And chubby Daffodil. Meanwhile at many cradles. Her busy foot she plied. Humming the quaintest lullaby. That ever rocked a child. Hush. Epigy awakens. The crocus stirs her lids. Redora's cheek is crimson. She's dreaming of the woods. Then, turning from them, reverent. Their bedtime tea is, she said. The bumblebees will wake them. When April woods are red. 11. My rose. Pygmy seraphs gone astray. Velvet people from Veve. Bells from some lost summer day. Bees' exclusive coterie. Paris could not lay the fold. Belted down with emerald. Venice could not show a cheek. Of a tint so lustrous meek. Never such an ambuscade. As of briar and leaf displayed. For my little damask maid. I had rather wear her grace. Than an earl's distinguished face. I had rather dwell like her. Than be Duke of Exeter. Royalty enough for me. To subdue the bumblebee. 12. The Oriole's secret. To hear an Oriole sing. May be a common thing. Or only a divine. It is not of the bird. Who sings the same, unheard. As unto crowd. The fashion of the ear. 
a tyreth that it hear. In done or fair. So whether it be rune. Or whether it be none. Is of within. The tune is in the tree. The skeptic showeth me. No, sir. In thee. 13. The Oriole. One of the ones that Midas touched. Who failed to touch us all. Was that confiding prodigal. The blissful Oriole. So drunk, he disavows it. With badinage divine. So dazzling, we mistake him. For an alighting mine. A pleader, a dissembler. An epicure, a thief. Betimes an oratorio. An ecstasy in chief. The Jesuit of orchards. He cheats as he enchants. Of an entire adder. For his decamping wants. The splendor of a Burma. The meteor of birds. Departing like a pageant. Of ballads and of bards. I never thought that Jason sought. For any golden fleece. But then I am a rural man. With thoughts that make for peace. But if there were a Jason. Tradition suffer me. Behold his lost emolument. Upon the apple tree. 14. In shadow. I dreaded that first robin so. But he is mastered now. And I'm accustomed to him grown. He hurts a little, though. I thought if I could only live. Till that first shout got by. Not all pianos in the woods. Had power to mangle me. I dared not meet the daffodils. For fear their yellow gown. Would pierce me with a fashion. So foreign to my own. I wished the grass would hurry. So when T was time to see. He D be too tall, the tallest one. Could stretch to look at me. I could not bear the bees should come. I wished they D stay away. In those dim countries where they go. What word had they for me? They re here, though. Not a creature failed. No blossom stayed away. In gentle deference to me. The Queen of Calvary. Each one salutes me as he goes. And I my childish plumes. Lift, in bereaved acknowledgement. Of their unthinking drums. 15. The humming bird. A root of evanescence. With a revolving wheel. A resonance of emerald. A rush of cochineal. And every blossom on the bush. Adjusts its tumbled head. The mail from Tunis, probably. An easy morning's ride. 16. Secrets. The skies can't keep their secret. They tell it to the hills. The hills just tell the orchards. And they the daffodils. A bird, by chance, that goes that way. Soft overheard the whole. If I should bribe the little bird. Who knows but she would tell. I think I won't, however. It's finer not to know. If summer were an axiom. What sorcery had snow? So keep your secret, father. I would not, if I could. Know what the sapphire fellows do. In your new-fashioned world. 17. Who robbed the woods? The trusting woods? The unsuspecting trees? Brought out their burrs and mosses? His fantasy to please? He scanned their trinkets, curious. He grasped, he bore away. What will the solemn hemlock? What will the fir tree say? 18. Two voyagers. Two butterflies went out at noon. And waltzed above a stream. Then stepped straight through the firmament. And rested on a beam. And then together bore away. Upon a shining sea. Though never yet, in any port. Their coming mentioned be. If spoken by the distant bird. If met in ether sea. By frigate or by merchantman. Report was not to me. 19. By the sea. I started early, took my dog. And visited the sea. The mermaids in the basement. 
came out to look at me. And frigates in the upper floor. Extended hempen hands. Presuming me to be a mouse. Aground, upon the sands. But no man moved me till the tide. Went past my simple shoe. And past my apron and my belt. And past my bodice too. And made as he would eat me up. As holy as a dew. Upon a dandelion sleeve. And then I started too. And he, he followed close behind. I felt his silver heel. Upon my ankle, then my shoes. Would overflow with pearl. Until we met the solid town. No man he seemed to know. And bowing with a mighty look. At me, the sea withdrew. XX. Old fashioned. Arcturus is his other name. I'd rather call him Star. It's so unkind of science. To go and interfere. I pull a flower from the woods. A monster with a glass. Computes the stamens in a breath. And has her in a class. Whereas I took the butterfly. Aforetime in my hat. He sits erect in cabinets. The clover bells forgot. What once was heaven, is zenith now. Where I propose to go. When time's brief masquerade was done. Is mapped, and charted too. What if the poles should frisk about. And stand upon their heads. I hope I'm ready for the worst. Whatever prank betides. Perhaps the kingdom of heaven, has changed. I hope the children there. Won't be new fashioned when I come. And laugh at me, and stare. I hope the father in the skies. Will lift his little girl. Old fashioned, naughty, everything. Over the style of pearl. 21. A tempest. An awful tempest mashed the air. The clouds were gaunt and few. A black, as of a specter's cloak. Hid heaven and earth from view. The creatures chuckled on the roofs. And whistled in the air. And shook their fists and gnashed their teeth. And swung their frenzied hair. The morning lit, the birds arose. The monster's faded eyes. Turned slowly to his native coast. And peace was paradise. 22. The sea. And everywhere of silver. With ropes of sand. To keep it from effacing. The track called land. 23. In the garden. A bird came down the walk. He did not know I saw. He bit an angle worm in halves. And ate the fellow, raw. And then he drank a dew. From a convenient grass. And then hopped sidewise to the wall. To let a beetle pass. He glanced with rapid eyes. That hurried all abroad. They looked like frightened beads, I thought. He stirred his velvet head. Like one in danger. Cautious. I offered him a crumb. And he unrolled his feathers. And rode him softer home. Then oars divide the ocean. Two silver for a seam. Or butterflies, off banks of noon. Leap, splashless, as they swim. 24. The snake. A narrow fellow in the grass. Occasionally rides. You may have met him, did you not? His note is sudden is. The grass divides as with a comb. A spotted shaft is seen. And then it closes at your feet. And opens further on. He likes a boggy acre. A floor too cool for corn. Yet when a child, and barefoot. I more than once, at morn. Have passed, I thought, a whiplash. Unbraiding in the sun. When, stooping to secure it. It wrinkled, and was gone. Several of nature's people. I know, and they know me. I feel for them a transport. Of cordiality. But never met this fellow. Attended or alone. Without a tighter breathing. And zero at the bone. 25. The mushroom. 
The mushroom is the elf of plants. At evening it is not. At morning in a truffled hut. It stops upon a spot. As if it tarried always. And yet its whole career. Is shorter than a snake's delay. And fleeter than a tear. T is vegetation's juggler. The germ of alibi. Doth like a bubble antedate. And like a bubble high. I feel as if the grass were pleased. To have it intermit. The surreptitious scion. Of summer's circumspect. Had nature any outcast face. Could she a son contemn. Had nature an Iscariot. That mushroom, it is him. 26. The storm. There came a wind like a bugle. It quivered through the grass. And a green chill upon the heat. So ominous did pass. We barred the windows and the doors. As from an emerald ghost. The doom's electric moccasin. That very instant passed. On a strange mob of panting trees. And fences fled away. And rivers where the houses ran. The living looked that day. The bell within the steeple wild. The flying tidings whirled. How much can come. And much can go. And yet abide the world. 27. The spider. A spider sewed at night. Without a light. Upon an arc of white. If rough it was of dame. Or shroud of gnome. Himself, himself in form. Of immortality. His strategy. Was physiognomy. 28. I know a place where summer strives. With such a practiced frost. She each year leads her daisies back. Recording briefly, lost. But when the south wind stirs the pools. And struggles in the lanes. Her heart misgives her for her vow. And she pours soft refrains. Into the lap of adamant. And spices, and the dew. That stiffens quietly to quartz. Upon her amber shoe. 29. The one that could repeat the summer day. Were greater than itself, though he. Minutest of mankind might be. And who could reproduce the sun. At period of going down. The lingering and the stain, I mean. When Orient has been outgrown. And Occident becomes unknown. His name remain. Triple X. The wind's visit. The wind tapped like a tired man. And like a host, come in. I boldly answered, entered then. My residence within. A rapid, footless guest. To offer whom a chair. Were as impossible as hand. A sofa to the air. No bone had he to bind him. His speech was like the push. Of numerous humming birds at once. From a superior bush. His countenance a billow. His fingers, if he pass. Let go a music, as of tunes. Blown tremulous in glass. He visited, still flitting. Then, like a timid man. Again he tapped, T was flurriedly. And I became alone. 31. Nature rarer use is yellow. Then another hue. Save she all of that for sunsets. Prodigal of blue. Spending scarlet like a woman. Yellow she affords. Only scantly and selectly. Like a lover's words. 32. Gossip. The leaves, like women, interchange. Sagacious confidence. Somewhat of nods, and somewhat of. Portentous inference. The parties in both cases. Enjoining secrecy. Inviolable compact. To notoriety. 33. Simplicity. How happy is the little stone. That rambles in the road alone. And doesn't care about careers. And exigencies never fears. Whose coat of elemental brown. A passing universe put on. And independent as the sun. Associates or glows alone. 
fulfilling absolute decree. In casual simplicity. 34. Storm. It sounded as if the streets were running. And then the streets stood still. Eclipse was all we could see at the window. And awe was all we could feel. By and by the boldest stole out of his covert. To see if time was there. Nature was in her barrel apron. Mixing fresher air. 35. The rat. The rat is the concisest tenant. He pays no rent. Repudiates the obligation. On schemes intent. Balking our wit. To sound or circumvent. Hate cannot harm. A foe so reticent. Neither decree. Prohibits him. Lawful as. Equilibrium. 36. Frequently the woods are pink. Frequently are brown. Frequently the hills undress. Behind my native town. Oft a head is crested. I was wont to see. And as oft a cranny. Where it used to be. And the earth, they tell me. On its axis turned. Wonderful rotation. By but twelve performed. 37. A thunderstorm. The wind begun to rock the grass. With threatening tunes and lo. He flung a menace at the earth. A menace at the sky. The leaves unhooked themselves from trees. And started all abroad. The dust did scoop itself like hands. And throw away the road. The wagons quickened on the streets. The thunder hurried slow. The lightning showed a yellow beak. And then a livid claw. The birds put up the bars to nests. The cattle fled to barns. There came one drop of giant rain. And then, as if the hands. That held the dams had parted hold. The waters wrecked the sky. But overlooked my father's house. Just quartering a tree. 38. With flowers. South winds jostle them. Bumblebees come. Hover, hesitate. Drink, and are gone. Butterflies pause. On their passage Kashmir. I, softly plucking. Present them here. 39. Sunset. Where ships of purple gently toss. On seas of daffodil. Fantastic sailors mingle. And then, the wharf is still. Excel. She sweeps with many colored brooms. And leaves the shreds behind. Oh, housewife in the evening west. Come back, and dust the pond. You dropped a purple reveling in. You dropped an amber thread. And now you, V littered all the east. With duds of emerald. And still she plies her spotted brooms. And still the aprons fly. Till brooms fade softly into stars. And then I come away. XLI. Like mighty footlights burn the red. At bases of the trees. The far theatricals of day. Exhibiting to these. T was universe that did applaud. While, chiefest of the crowd. Enabled by his royal dress. Myself distinguished God. 42. Problems. Bring me the sunset in a cup. Reckon the morning's flagons up. And say how many do. Tell me how far the morning leaps. Tell me what time the weaver sleeps. Who spun the breadths of blue. Write me how many notes there be. In the new robin's ecstasy. Among astonished boughs. How many trips the tortoise makes. How many cups the beeper takes. The debauchee of dews. Also, who laid the rainbow's piers. Also, who leads the docile spheres. By whites of supple blue. Whose fingers string the stalactite. Who counts the wampum of the night. To see that none is due. Who built this little alban house. And shut the windows down so close. My spirit cannot see. Who ll let me out some gala day. With implements to fly away. Passing pomposity. 
43. The juggler of day. Blazing in gold and quenching in purple. Leaping like leopards to the sky. Then at the feet of the old horizon. Laying her spotted face, to die. Stooping as low as the otter's window. Touching the roof and tinting the barn. Kissing her bonnet to the meadow. And the juggler of day is gone. 44. My cricket. Farther in summer than the birds. Pathetic from the grass. A minor nation celebrates. Its unobtrusive mass. No ordinance is seen. So gradual the grace. A pensive custom it becomes. Enlarging loneliness. Antiquist felt at noon. When August, burning low. Calls forth this spectral canticle. Repose to typify. Remit as yet no grace. No furrow on the glow. Yet a druidic difference. Enhances nature now. XLV. As imperceptibly as grief. The summer lapsed away. Too imperceptible, at last. To seem like perfidy. A quietness distilled. As twilight long begun. Or nature, spending with herself. Sequestered afternoon. The dusk drew earlier in. The morning foreign shone. A courteous, yet harrowing grace. As guest who would be gone. And thus, without a wing. Or service of a keel. Our summer made her light escape. Into the beautiful. 46. It can't be summer, that got through. It s early yet for spring. There s that long town of white to cross. Before the blackbirds sing. It can't be dying, it's too rouge. The dead shall go in white. So sunset shuts my question down. With clasps of chrysolite. 47. Summer's obsequies. The gentian weaves her fringes. The maple's loom is red. My departing blossoms. Obviate parade. A brief, but patient illness. An hour to prepare. And one, below this morning. Is where the angels are. It was a short procession. The bobolink was there. An aged bee addressed us. And then we knelt in prayer. We trust that she was willing. We ask that we may be. Summer, sister, seraph. Let us go with thee. In the name of the bee. And of the butterfly. And of the breeze, Amen. 48. Fringed gentian. God made a little gentian. It tried to be a rose. And failed, and all the summer laughed. But just before the snows. There came a purple creature. That ravished all the hill. And summer hit her forehead. And mockery was still. The frosts were her condition. The Tyrian would not come. Until the north evoked it. Creator. Shall I bloom? 49. November. Besides the autumn poets sing. A few prosaic days. A little this side of the snow. And that side of the haze. A few incisive mornings. A few ascetic eyes. Gone Mr. Bryant's goldenrod. And Mr. Thompson's sheaves. Still is the bustle in the brook. Sealed are the spicy valves. Mesmeric fingers softly touch. The eyes of many elves. Perhaps a squirrel may remain. My sentiments to share. Grant me, O Lord, a sunny mind. Thy windy will to bear. L. The snow. It sifts from leaden sieves. It powders all the wood. It fills with alabaster wool. The wrinkles of the road. It makes an even face. Of mountain and of plain. Unbroken forehead from the east. Unto the east again. It reaches to the fence. It wraps it, rail by rail. Till it is lost in fleeces. It flings a crystal veil. On stump and stack and stem. The summer's empty room. 
Acres of seams where harvests were. Recordless, but for them. It ruffles wrists of posts. As ankles of a queen. Then stills its artisans like ghosts. Denying they have been. Lee. The blue jay. No brigadier throughout the year. So civic as the jay. A neighbor and a warrior too. With shrill felicity. Pursuing winds that censure us. A February day. The brother of the universe. Was never blown away. The snow and he are intimate. I've often seen them play. When heaven looked upon us all. With such severity. I felt apology were due. To an insulted sky. Whose pompous frown was nutriment. To their temerity. The pillow of this daring head. Is pungent evergreens. His larder, terse and militant. Unknown, refreshing things. His character a tonic. His future a dispute. Unfair and immortality. That leaves this neighbor out. For, time and eternity. I. Let down the bars, O oh death. The tired flocks come in. Whose bleeding ceases to repeat. Whose wandering is done. Thine is the stillest night. Thine the securest fold. Too near thou art for seeking thee. Too tender to be told. Too. Going to heaven. I don't know when. Pray do not ask me how. Indeed, I'm too astonished. To think of answering you. Going to heaven. How dim it sounds. And yet it will be done. As sure as flocks go home at night. Unto the shepherd's arm. Perhaps you, re-going too. Who knows. If you should get there first. Save just a little place for me. Close to the two I lost. The smallest robe will fit me. And just a bit of, crown. For you know we do not mind our dress. When we are going home. I'm glad I don't believe it. For it would stop my breath. And I, d like to look a little more. At such a curious earth. I am glad they did believe it. Whom I have never found. Since the mighty autumn afternoon. I left them in the ground. 3. At least to pray is left, is left. O oh Jesus! In the air. I know not which thy chamber is. I'm knocking everywhere. Thou stirrest earthquake in the south. And maelstrom in the sea. Say, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hast thou no arm for me? 4. Epitaph. Step lightly on this narrow spot. The broadest land that grows. Is not so ample as the breast. These emerald seams enclose. Step lofty, for this name is told. As far as cannon dwell. Or flag subsist, or fame export. Her deathless syllable. V. Morns like these we parted. Noons like these she rose. Fluttering first, then firmer. To her fair repose. Never did she lisp it. And T was not for me. She was mute from transport. I, from agony. Till the evening, nearing. One the shutters drew. Quick. A sharper rustling. And this linnet flew. 6. A death blow is a life blow to some. Who, till they died, did not alive become. Who, had they lived, had died, but when. They died, vitality begun. 7. I read my sentence steadily. Reviewed it with my eyes. To see that I made no mistake. In its extremest clause. The date, and manner of the shame. And then the pious form. That, God have mercy, on the soul. The jury voted him. I made my soul familiar. With her extremity. That at the last it should not be. A novel agony. But she in death, acquainted. Meet tranquilly as friends. 
salute and pass without a hint. And there the matter ends. 8. I have not told my garden yet. Lest that should conquer me. I have not quite the strength now. To break it to the bee. I will not name it in the street. For shops would stare, that I. So shy, so very ignorant. Should have the face to die. The hillsides must not know it. Where I have rambled so. Nor tell the loving forests. The day that I shall go. Nor lisp it at the table. Nor heedless by the way. Hint that within the riddle. One will walk today. 9. The battlefield. They drop like flakes, they drop like stars. Like petals from a rose. When suddenly across the June. A wind with fingers goes. They perished in the seamless grass. No I could find the place. But God on his repealless list. Can summon every face. X. The only ghost I ever saw. Was dressed in Mechlin, so. He wore no sandal on his foot. And stepped like flakes of snow. His gait was soundless, like the bird. But rapid, like the roe. His fashions quaint, mosaic. Or, haply, mistletoe. His conversation seldom. His laughter like the breeze. That dies away in dimples. Among the pensive trees. Our interview was transient. Of me, himself was shy. And God forbid I look behind. Since that appalling day. 11. Some, too fragile for winter winds. The thoughtful grave encloses. Tenderly tucking them in from frost. Before their feet are cold. Never the treasures in her nest. The cautious grave exposes. Building where schoolboy dare not look. And sportsman is not bold. This covert have all the children. Early aged, and often cold. Sparrows unnoticed by the father. Lambs for whom time had not a fold. 12. As by the dead we love to sit. Become so wondrous dear. As for the lost we grapple. Though all the rest are here. In broken mathematics. We estimate our prize. Vast, in its fading ratio. To our penurious eyes. 13. Memorials. Death sets a thing significant. The eye had hurried by. Except a perished creature. Entreat us tenderly. To ponder little workmanships. In crayon or in wool. With, this was last her fingers did. Industrious until. The thimble weighed too heavy. The stitches stopped themselves. And then tea was put among the dust. Upon the closet shelves. A book I have, a friend gave. Whose pencil, here and there. Had notched the place that pleased him. At rest his fingers are. Now, when I read, I read not. For interrupting tears. Obliterate the etchings. Too costly for repairs. 14. I went to heaven. T was a small town. Lit with a ruby. Lathed with down. Stiller than the fields. At the full dew. Beautiful as pictures. No man drew. People like the moth. Of Mechlin, frames. Duties of gossamer. And either names. Almost contented. I could be. Mong such unique. Society. 15. Their height in heaven comforts not. Their glory not to me. T was best imperfect, as it was. I'm finite, I can't see. The house of supposition. The glimmering frontier. That skirts the acres of perhaps. To me shows insecure. The wealth I had contented me. If T was a meaner size. Then I had counted it until. It pleased my narrow eyes. Better than larger values. However true their show. This timid life of evidence. Keeps pleading, 
I don't know. 16. There is a shame of nobleness. Confronting sudden pelf. A finer shame of ecstasy. Convicted of itself. A best disgrace a brave man feels. Acknowledged of the brave. One more, ye blessed, to be told. But this involves the grave. 17. Triumph. Triumph may be of several kinds. There, best triumph in the room. When that old imperator, death. By faith is overcome. There, best triumph of the finer mind. When truth, affronted long. Advances calm to her supreme. Her God her only throng. A triumph when temptations bribe. Is slowly handed back. One eye upon the heaven renounced. And one upon the rack. Sever triumph, by himself. Experienced, who can pass. Acquitted from that naked bar. Jehovah's countenance. 18. Pompless no life can pass away. The lowliest career. To the same pageant wends its way. As that exalted here. How cordial is the mystery. The hospitable Paul. A, uh, this way, beckon spaciously. A miracle for all. 19. I noticed people disappeared. When but a little child. Suppose they visited remote. Or settled regions wild. Now know I they both visited. And settled regions wild. But did because they died, a fact. Withheld the little child. XX. Following. I had no cause to be awake. My best was gone to sleep. And morn a new politeness took. And failed to wake them up. But called the others clear. And passed their curtains by. Sweet morning, when I oversleep. Knock, recollect, for me. I looked at sunrise once. And then I looked at them. And wishfulness in me arose. For circumstance the same. T was such an ample peace. It could not hold a sigh. T was Sabbath with the bells divorced. T was sunset all the day. So choosing but a gown. And taking but a prayer. The only raiment I should need. I struggled, and was there. 21. If anybody's friend be dead. It, s sharpest of the theme. The thinking how they walked alive. At such and such a time. Their costume, of a Sunday. Some manner of the hair. A prank nobody knew but them. Lost, in the sepulchre. How warm they were on such a day. You almost feel the date. So short way off it seems, and now. They three centuries from that. How pleased they were at what you said. You try to touch the smile. And dip your fingers in the frost. When was it, can you tell? You ask the company to tea. Acquaintance, just a few. And chatted close with this grand thing. That don't remember you. Past bows and invitations. Past interview, and vow. Past what ourselves can estimate. That makes the quick of woe. 22. The journey. Our journey had advanced. Our feet were almost come. To that odd fork in being's road. Eternity by term. Our pace took sudden awe. Our feet reluctant led. Before were cities, but between. The forest of the dead. Retreat was out of hope. Behind, a sealed route. Eternity's white flag before. And God at every gate. 23. A country burial. Ample make this bed. Make this bed with awe. In it wait till judgment break. Excellent and fair. Be its mattress straight. Be its pillow round. Let no sunrise, yellow noise. Interrupt this ground. 24. Going. On such a night, or such a night. Would anybody care? If such a little figure. Slipped quiet from its chair. 
so quiet, oh, how quiet. That nobody might know. But that the little figure. Rocked softer, to and fro. On such a dawn, or such a dawn. Would anybody sigh? That such a little figure. Too sound asleep did lie. For chanticleer to wake it. Or stirring house below. Or giddy bird in orchard. Or early task to do. There was a little figure plump. For every little knoll. Busy needles, and spools of thread. And trudging feet from school. Playmates, and holidays, and nuts. And visions vast and small. Strange that the feet so precious charged. Should reach so small a goal. 25. Essential oils are wrung. The adder from the rose. Is not expressed by suns alone. It is the gift of screws. The general rose decays. But this, in lady's drawer. Makes summer when the lady lies. In ceaseless rosemary. 26. I lived on dread, to those who know. The stimulus there is. In danger, other impetus. Is numb and vital less. As t were a spur upon the soul. A fear will urge it where. To go without the spectre's aid. We're challenging despair. 27. If I should die. And you should live. And time should gurgle on. And morn should beam. And noon should burn. As it has usual done. If birds should build as early. And bees as bustling go. One might depart at option. From enterprise below. T is sweet to know that stocks will stand. When we with daisies lie. That commerce will continue. And trades as briskly fly. It makes the parting tranquil. And keeps the soul serene. That gentleman so sprightly. Conduct the pleasing scene. 28. At length. Her final summer was it. And yet we guessed it not. If tender industriousness. Pervaded her, we thought. A further force of life. Developed from within. When death lit all the shortness up. And made the hurry plain. We wondered at our blindness. When nothing was to see. But her Carrara guidepost. At our stupidity. When, duller than our dullness. The busy darling lay. So busy was she, finishing. So leisurely were we. 29. Ghosts. One need not be a chamber to be haunted. One need not be a house. The brain has corridors surpassing. Material place. Far safer, of a midnight meeting. External ghost. Then an interior confronting. That wider host. Far safer through an abbey gallop. The stones a chase. Than, moonless, one's own self encounter. In lonesome place. Ourself, behind ourself concealed. Should startle most. Assassin, hid in our apartment. Be horrors least. The prudent carries a revolver. He bolts the door. Erlooking a superior spectre. More near. Triple X. Vanished. She died, this was the way she died. And when her breath was done. Took up her simple wardrobe. And started for the sun. Her little figure at the gate. The angels must have spied. Since I could never find her. Upon the mortal side. 31. Precedence. Wait till the majesty of death. Invests so mean a brow. Almost a powdered footman. Might dare to touch it now. Wait till in everlasting robes. This democrat is dressed. Then prayed about preferment. And station and the rest. Around this quiet courtier. Obsequious angels wait. Full royal is his retinue. Full purple is his state. A lord might dare to lift the hat. To such a modest clay. Since that my lord, 
the Lord of Lords. Receives unblushingly. 32. Gone. Went up a year this evening. I recollect it well. Amid no bells nor bravos. The bystanders will tell. Cheerful, as to the village. Tranquil, as to repose. Chastened, as to the chapel. This humble tourist rose. Did not talk of returning. Alluded to no time. When, were the gales propitious. We might look for him. Was grateful for the roses. In life's diverse bouquet. Talked softly of new species. To pick another day. Beguiling thus the wonder. The wondrous nearer drew. Hands bustled at the moorings. The crowd respectful grew. Ascended from our vision. To countenances new. A difference, a daisy. Is all the rest I knew. 33. Requiem. Taken from men this morning. Carried by men today. Met by the gods with banners. Who marshaled her away. One little maid from playmates. One little mind from school. There must be guests in Eden. All the rooms are full. Far as the east from even. Dim as the border star. Courtiers quaint, in kingdoms. Our departed are. 34. What inn is this? Where for the night? Peculiar traveller comes. Who is the landlord? Where the maids? Behold, what curious rooms. No ruddy fires on the hearth. No brimming tankards flow. Necromancer, landlord. Who are these below? 35. It was not death, for I stood up. And all the dead lie down. It was not night, for all the bells. Put out their tongues, for noon. It was not frost, for on my flesh. I felt Sirocco's crawl. Nor fire, for just my marble feet. Could keep a chancel cool. And yet it tasted like them all. The figures I have seen. Set orderly, for burial. Reminded me of mine. As if my life were shaven. And fitted to a frame. And could not breathe without a key. And tea was like midnight, some. When everything that ticked has stopped. And space stares, all around. Or grisly frosts, first autumn morns. Repeal the beating ground. But most like chaos, stopless, cool. Without a chance or spar. Or even a report of land. To justify despair. 36. Till the end. I should not dare to leave my friend. Because, because if he should die. While I was gone, and I, too late. Should reach the heart that wanted me. If I should disappoint the eyes. That hunted, hunted so, to see. And could not bear to shut until. They noticed, me, they noticed me. If I should stab the patient faith. So sure I, d come, so sure I, d come. It listening, listening, went to sleep. Telling my tardy name. My heart would wish it broke before. Since breaking then, since breaking then. Were useless as next morning sun. Where midnight frosts had lain. 37. Void. Great streets of silence led away. To neighborhoods of pause. Here was no notice, no dissent. No universe, no laws. By clocks tea was morning, and for night. The bells at distance called. But epoch had no basis here. Four period exhaled. 38. A throw upon the features. A hurry in the breath. An ecstasy of parting. Denominated, death. An anguish at the mention. Which, when to patience grown. I've known permission given. To rejoin its own. 39. Saved. Of tribulation these are they. Denoted by the white. The spangled gowns, a lesser rank. Of victors designate. All these did conquer, 
but the ones who overcame most times. Where nothing commoner than snow. No ornament but palms. Surrender is a sort unknown. On this superior soil. Defeat, an outgrown anguish. Remembered as the mile. Our panting ankle barely gained. When night devoured the road. But we stood whispering in the house. And all we said was, saved. XL. I think just how my shape will rise. When I shall be forgiven. Till hair and eyes and timid head. Are out of sight, in heaven. I think just how my lips will weigh. With shapeless, quivering prayer. That you, so late, consider me. The sparrow of your care. I mind me that of anguish sent. Some drifts were moved away. Before my simple bosom broke. And why not this, if they. And so, until delirious born. I con that thing, forgiven. Till with long fright and longer trust. I drop my heart, unshriven. XLI. The forgotten grave. After a hundred years. Nobody knows the place. Agony, that enacted there. Motionless as peace. Weeds triumphant ranged. Strangers strolled and spelled. At the lone orthography. Of the elder dead. Winds of summer fields. Recollect the way. Instinct picking up the key. Dropped by memory. 42. Lay this laurel on the one. Too intrinsic for renown. Laurel. Veil your deathless tree. Him you chasten, that is he. Poems. By Emily Dickinson. Third series. Edited by. Mabel Loomis Todd. It's all I have to bring today. This, and my heart beside. This, and my heart, and all the fields. And all the meadows wide. Be sure you count, should I forget. Someone the sum could tell. This, and my heart, and all the bees. Which in the clover dwell. Preface. The intellectual activity of Emily Dickinson was so great that a large and characteristic choice is still possible among her literary material. And this third volume of her verses is put forth in response to the repeated wish of the admirers of her peculiar genius. Much of Emily Dickinson's prose was rhythmic, even rhymed, though frequently not set apart in lines. Also many verses, written as such, were sent to friends in letters, these were published in 1894, in the volumes of her letters. It has not been necessary, however, to include them in this series, and all have been omitted, except three or four exceptionally strong ones, as, a book, and, with flowers. There is internal evidence that many of the poems were simply spontaneous flashes of insight, apparently unrelated to outward circumstance. Others, however, had an obvious personal origin. For example, the verses, I had a guinea golden, which seemed to have been sent to some friend traveling in Europe, as a dainty reminder of letter-writing delinquencies. The surroundings in which any of Emily Dickinson's verses are known to have been written usually serve to explain them clearly. But in general the present volume is full of thoughts needing no interpretation to those who apprehend this scintillating spirit. M. L. T. Amherst, October, 1896. I. Life. I. Real riches. T. Is little I could care for pearls. Who own the ample sea. Or brooches, when the emperor. With rubies pelteth me. Or gold, who am the prince of mines. Or diamonds, when I see. A diadem to fit a dome. Continual crowning me. 2. Superiority to fate. Superiority to fate. Is difficult to learn. T is not conferred by any. But possible to earn. A pittance at a time. Until, to her surprise. The soul with strict economy. Subsists till paradise. 3. Hope. Hope is a subtle glutton. He feeds upon the fair. And yet, inspected closely. 
What abstinence is there? His is the halcyon table. That never seats but one. And whatsoever is consumed. The same amounts remain. 4. Forbidden fruit. I. Forbidden fruit a flavor has. That lawful orchard's mocks. How luscious lies the pea within. The pod that duty locks. V. Forbidden fruit. 2. Heaven is what I cannot reach. The apple on the tree. Provided it do hopeless hang. That, heaven, is, to me. The color on the cruising cloud. The interdicted ground. Behind the hill, the house behind. Their paradise is found. 6. A word. A word is dead. When it is said. Some say. I say it just. Begins to live. That day. 7. To venerate the simple days. Which lead the seasons by. Needs but to remember. That from you or me. They may take the trifle. Termed mortality. To invest existence with a stately air. Needs but to remember. That the acorn there. Is the egg of forests. For the upper air. 8. Life's trades. It's such a little thing to weep. So short a thing to sigh. And yet by trades the size of these. We men and women die. 9. Drowning is not so pitiful. As the attempt to rise. Three times, T is said, a sinking man. Comes up to face the skies. And then declines forever. To that abhorred abode. Where hope and he part company. For he is grasped of God. The Maker's cordial visage. However good to see. Is shunned, we must admit it. Like an adversity. X. How still the bells in steeples stand. Till, swollen with the sky. They leap upon their silver feet. In frantic melody. 11. If the foolish call them, flowers. Need the wiser tell. If the savens, classify, them. It is just as well. Those who read the revelations. Must not criticize. Those who read the same edition. With beclouded eyes. Could we stand with that old Moses? Canaan denied. Scan, like him, the stately landscape. On the other side. Doubtless we should deem superfluous. Many sciences. Not pursued by learned angels. In scholastic skies. Lo amid that glad bell's letra. Grant that we may stand. Stars, amid profound galaxies. At that grand right hand. 12. A syllable. Could mortal lip divine. The undeveloped freight. Of a delivered syllable. T would crumble with the weight. 13. Parting. My life closed twice before its close. It yet remains to see. If immortality unveil. A third event to me. So huge, so hopeless to conceive. As these that twice befell. Parting is all we know of heaven. And all we need of hell. 14. Aspiration. We never know how high we are. Till we are called to rise. And then, if we are true to plan. Our statures touch the skies. The heroism we recite. Would be a daily thing. Did not ourselves the cubits warp. For fear to be a king. 15. The inevitable. While I was fearing it, it came. But came with less of fear. Because that fearing it so long. Had almost made it dear. There is a fitting a dismay. A fitting a despair. Tis harder knowing it is due. Than knowing it is here. The trying on the utmost. The morning it is new. Is terribler than wearing it. A whole existence through. 16. A book. There is no frigate like a book. 
to take us lands away. Nor any coursers like a page of prancing poetry. This traverse may the poorest take without a press of toll. How frugal is the chariot that bears a human soul. 17. Who has not found the heaven below will fail of it above. God's residence is next to mine. His furniture is love. 18. A portrait. A face devoid of love or grace. A hateful, hard, successful face. A face with which a stone. Would feel as thoroughly at ease. As were they old acquaintances. First time together thrown. 19. I had a guinea golden. I had a guinea golden. I lost it in the sand. And though the sum was simple. And pounds were in the land. Still had it such a value. Unto my frugal eye. That when I could not find it. I sat me down to sigh. I had a crimson robin. Who sang full many a day. But when the woods were painted. He, too, did fly away. Time brought me other robins. Their ballads were the same. Still for my missing troubadour. I kept the house at home. I had a star in heaven. One pleiad was its name. And when I was not heeding. It wandered from the same. And though the skies are crowded. And all the night ashine. I do not care about it. Since none of them are mine. My story has a moral. I have a missing friend. Pleiad its name, and Robin. And Guinea in the sand. And when this mournful ditty, accompanied with tear, shall meet the eye of traitor, in country far from here, grant that repentance solemn, may seize upon his mind, and he no consolation, beneath the sun may find. Note. This poem may have had, like many others, a personal origin. It is more than probable that it was sent to some friend traveling in Europe, a dainty reminder of letter-writing delinquencies. XX. Saturday afternoon. From all the jails the boys and girls ecstatically leap. Beloved, only afternoon. That prison doesn't keep. They storm the earth and stun the air. A mob of solid bliss. Alas. That frowns could lie in wait. For such a foe as this. 21. Few get enough, enough is one. To that ethereal throng. Have not each one of us the right. To stealthily belong. 22. Upon the gallows hung a wretch. Too sullied for the hell. To which the law entitled him. As nature's curtain fell. The one who bore him tottered in. For this was woman's son. T was all I had, she stricken gasped. Oh, what a livid boon. 23. The lost thought. I felt a clearing in my mind. As if my brain had split. I tried to match it, seam by seam. But could not make them fit. The thought behind I strove to join. Unto the thought before. But sequence reveled out of reach. Like balls upon a floor. 24. Reticence. The reticent volcano keeps. His never slumbering plan. Confided are his projects pink. To no precarious man. If nature will not tell the tale. Jehovah told to her. Can human nature not survive? Without a listener. Admonished by her buckled lips. Let every babbler be. The only secret people keep. Is immortality. 25. With flowers. If recollecting were forgetting. Then I remember not. And if forgetting, recollecting. How near I had forgot. And if to miss were merry. And if to mourn were gay. How very blithe the fingers. That gathered these today. 26. The farthest thunder that I heard. Was nearer than the sky. 
and rumble still, though torrid noons. Have lain their missiles by. The lightning that preceded it. Struck no one but myself. But I would not exchange the bolt. For all the rest of life. Indebtedness to oxygen. The chemist may repay. But not the obligation. To electricity. It founds the homes and decks the days. And every clamor bright. Is but the gleam concomitant. Of that waylaying light. The thought is quiet as a flake. A crash without a sound. How life's reverberation. Its explanation found. 27. On the bleakness of my lot. Bloom I strove to raise. Late, my acre of a rock. Yielded grape and maize. Soil of flint if steadfast tilled. Will reward the hand. Seed of palm by Libyan sun. Fructified in sand. 28. Contrast. A door just opened on a street. I, lost, was passing by. An instant's width of warmth disclosed. And wealth, and company. The door as sudden shut, and I. I, lost, was passing by. Lost doubly, but by contrast most. Enlightening misery. 29. Friends. Are friends delight or pain? Could bounty but remain. Riches were good. But if they only stay. Bolder to fly away. Riches are sad. Triple X. Fire. Ashes denote that fire was. Respect the grayest pile. For the departed creature's sake. That hovered there a while. Fire exists the first in light. And then consolidates. Only the chemist can disclose. Into what carbonates. 31. A man. Fate slew him, but he did not drop. She felled, he did not fall. Impaled him on her fiercest stakes. He neutralized them all. She stung him, sapped his firm advance. But, when her worst was done. And he, unmoved, regarded her. Acknowledged him a man. 32. Ventures. Finite to fail, but infinite to venture. For the one ship that struts the shore. Many's the gallant, overwhelmed creature. Nodding in navies nevermore. 33. Griefs. I measure every grief I meet. With analytic eyes. I wonder if it weighs like mine. Or has an easier size. I wonder if they bore it long. Or did it just begin. I could not tell the date of mine. It feels so old a pain. I wonder if it hurts to live. And if they have to try. And whether, could they choose between. They would not rather die. I wonder if when years have piled. Some thousands, on the cause. Of early hurt, if such a lapse. Could give them any pause. Or would they go on aching still. Through centuries above. Enlightened to a larger pain. By contrast with the love. The grieved are many, I am told. The reason deeper lies. Death is but one and comes but once. And only nails the eyes. There's grief of want, and grief of cold. A sort they call, despair. There's banishment from native eyes. In sight of native air. And though I may not guess the kind. Correctly, yet to me. A piercing comfort it affords. In passing Calvary. To note the fashions of the cross. Of those that stand alone. Still fascinated to presume. That some are like my own. 34. I have a king who does not speak. So, wandering, through, the hours meek. I trudge the day away. Half glad when it is night and sleep. If, haply, through, a dream to peep. In parlors shut by day. And if I do, when morning comes. It is as if a hundred drums. Did round my pillow roll. And shouts fill all my childish sky. 
and bells keep saying, Victory. From steeples in my soul. And if I don't, the little bird. Within the orchard is not heard. And I omit to pray. Father, thy will be done, today. For my will goes the other way. And it were perjury. 35. Disenchantment. It dropped so low in my regard. I heard it hit the ground. And go to pieces on the stones. At bottom of my mind. Yet blamed the fate that fractured, less. Then I reviled myself. For entertaining plated wares. Upon my silver shelf. 36. Lost faith. To lose one's faith surpasses. The loss of an estate. Because estates can be. Replenished, faith cannot. Inherited with life. Belief but once can be. Annihilate a single clause. And beings beggary. 37. Lost joy. I had a daily bliss. I half indifferent viewed. Till sudden I perceived it stir. It grew as I pursued. Till when, around a crag. It wasted from my sight. Enlarged beyond my utmost scope. I learned its sweetness right. 38. I worked for chaff, and earning wheat. Was haughty and betrayed. What right had fields to arbitrate? In matters ratified. I tasted wheat, and hated chaff. And thanked the ample friend. Wisdom is more becoming viewed. At distance than at hand. 39. Life, and death, and giants. Such as these, are still. Minor apparatus, hopper of the mill. Beetle at the candle. Or a fife's small fame. Maintained by accident. That they proclaim. Excel. Alpine glow. Our lives are Swiss. So still, so cool. Till, some odd afternoon. The Alps neglect their curtains. And we look farther on. Italy stands the other side. While, like a guard between. The solemn Alps. The siren Alps. Forever intervene. XLI. Remembrance. Remembrance has a rear and front. T is something like a house. It has a garret also. For refuse and the mouse. Besides, the deepest cellar. That ever mason hewed. Look to it, by its fathoms. Ourselves be not pursued. 42. To hang our head ostensibly. And subsequent to find. That such was not the posture. Of our immortal mind. Affords the sly presumption. That, in so dense a fuzz. You, too, take cobweb attitudes. Upon a plane of gauze. 43. The brain. The brain is wider than the sky. 4. Put them side by side. The one the other will include. With ease, and you beside. The brain is deeper than the sea. 4. Hold them, blue to blue. The one the other will absorb. As sponges, buckets do. The brain is just the weight of God. 4. Lift them, pound for pound. And they will differ, if they do. As syllable from sound. 44. The bone that has no marrow. What ultimate for that? It is not fit for table. For beggar, or for cat. A bone has obligations. A being has the same. A marrowless assembly. Is culpabler than shame. But how shall finished creatures. A function fresh obtain. Old Nicodemus phantom. Confronting us again. XLV. The past. The past is such a curious creature. To look her in the face. A transport may reward us. Or a disgrace. Unarmed if any meet her. I charge him, fly. Her rusty ammunition. Might yet reply. 46. To help our bleaker parts. 
salubrious hours are given. Which if they do not fit for earth. Drill silently for heaven. 47. What soft, cherubic creatures. These gentlewomen are. One would as soon assault a plush. Or violate a star. Such dimity convictions. A horror so refined. Of freckled human nature. Of deity ashamed. It's such a common glory. A fisherman's degree. Redemption, brittle lady. Be so, ashamed of thee. 48. Desire. Who never wanted, maddest joy. Remains to him unknown. The banquet of abstemiousness. Surpasses that of wine. Within its hope, though yet ungrasped. Desire's perfect goal. No nearer, lest reality. Should disenthrall thy soul. 49. Philosophy. It might be easier. To fail with land in sight. Then gain my blue peninsula. To perish of delight. L. Power. You cannot put a fire out. A thing that can ignite. Can go, itself, without a fan. Upon the slowest night. You cannot fold a flood. And put it in a drawer. Because the winds would find it out. And tell your cedar floor. Lee. A modest lot, a fame petite. A brief campaign of sting and sweet. Is plenty. Is enough. A sailor's business is the shore. A soldier's, balls. Who asketh more? Must seek the neighboring life. Lee. Is bliss, then, such abyss. I must not put my foot amiss. For fear I spoil my shoe. I'd rather suit my foot. Than save my boot. For yet to buy another pair. Is possible. At any fair. But bliss is sold just once. The patent lost. None buy it any more. 53. Experience. I step from plank to plank. So slow and cautiously. The stars about my head I felt. About my feet the sea. I knew not but the next. Would be my final inch. This gave me that precarious gait. Some call experience. Live. Thanksgiving Day. One day is there of the series. Termed Thanksgiving Day. Celebrated part at table. Part in memory. Neither patriarch nor pussy. I dissect the play. Seems it, to my hooded thinking. Reflex holiday. Had there been no sharp subtraction. From the early sum. Not an acre or a caption. Where was once a room? Not a mention, whose small pebble. Wrinkled any bay. Unto such, were such assembly. T were Thanksgiving Day. LV. Childish griefs. Softened by time's consummate plush. How sleek the woe appears. That threatened childhood citadel. And undermined the years. Bisected now by bleaker griefs. We envy the despair. That devastated childhood's realm. So easy to repair. 2. Love. I. Consecration. Proud of my broken heart since thou didst break it. Proud of the pain I did not feel till thee. Proud of my night since thou with moons dost slake it. Not to partake thy passion, my humility. 2. Love's humility. My worthiness is all my doubt. His merit all my fear. Contrasting which, my qualities. Do lowlier appear. Lest I should insufficient prove. For his beloved need. The chiefest apprehension. Within my loving creed. So I, the undivine abode. Of his elect content. Conform my soul as, T were a church. Unto her sacrament. 3. Love. Love is anterior to life. Posterior to death. Initial of creation, and. The exponent of breath. 
4. Satisfied. One blessing had I, than the rest. So larger to my eyes. That I stopped gauging, satisfied. For this enchanted size. It was the limit of my dream. The focus of my prayer. A perfect, paralyzing bliss. Contented as despair. I knew no more of want or cold. Phantasms both become. For this new value in the soul. Supremest earthly sum. The heaven below the heaven above. Obscured with ruddier hue. Life's latitude lent over full. The judgment perished, too. Why joys so scantily disperse? Why paradise defer? Why floods are served to us in bowls? I speculate no more. V. With a flower. When roses cease to bloom, dear. And violets are done. When bumblebees in solemn flight. Have passed beyond the sun. The hand that paws to gather. Upon this summer's day. Will idle lie, in Auburn. Then take my flower, pray. 6. Song. Summer for thee grant I may be. When summer days are flown. Thy music still when whippoorwill. And oriole are done. For thee to bloom, I'll skip the tomb. And sow my blossoms o'er. Pray gather me, anemone. Thy flower forevermore. 7. Loyalty. Split the lark and you'll find the music. Bulb after bulb, in silver rolled. Scantily dealt to the summer morning. Saved for your ear when lutes be old. Loose the flood, ye shall find it patent. Gush after gush, reserved for you. Scarlet experiment. Skeptic Thomas. Now, do you doubt that your bird was true? 8. To lose thee, sweeter than to gain. All other hearts I knew. T is true the drought is destitute. But then I had the dew. The Caspian has its realms of sand. Its other realm of sea. Without the sterile perquisite. No Caspian could be. 9. Poor little heart. Did they forget thee? Then dinna care. Then dinna care. Proud little heart. Did they forsake thee? Be debonair. Be debonair. Frail little heart. I would not break thee. Couldst credit me. Couldst credit me. Gay little heart. Like morning glory. Thou wilted be, thou wilted be. X. Forgotten. There is a word. Which bears a sword. Can pierce an armed man. It hurls its barbed syllables. At once is mute again. But where it fell. The saved will tell. On patriotic day. Some epaulette brother. Gave his breath away. Wherever runs the breathless sun. Wherever roams the day. There is its noiseless onset. There is its victory. Behold the keenest marksman. The most accomplished shot. Time's sublimest target. Is a soul, forgot. 11. I've got an arrow here. Loving the hand that sent it. I the dart revere. Fell, they will say, in, skirmish. Vanquished, my soul will know. By but a simple arrow. Sped by an archer's bow. 12. The master. He fumbles at your spirit. As players at the keys. Before they drop full music on. He stuns you by degrees. Prepares your brittle substance. For the ethereal blow. By fainter hammers, further heard. Then nearer, then so slow. Your breath has time to straighten. Your brain to bubble cool. Deals one imperial thunderbolt. That scalps your naked soul. 13. Heart, we will forget him. You and I, tonight. You may forget the warmth he gave. I will forget the light. When you have done, pray tell me. That I my thoughts may dim. 
Haste. Lest while you're lagging. I may remember him. 14. Father, I bring thee not myself. That were the little load. I bring thee the imperial heart. I had not strength to hold. The heart I cherished in my own. Till mine too heavy grew. Yet strangest, heavier since it went. Is it too large for you? 15. We outgrow love like other things. And put it in the drawer. Till it an antique fashion shows. Like costumes grandsires wore. 16. Not with a club the heart is broken. Nor with a stone. A whip, so small you could not see it. I've known. To lash the magic creature. Till it fell. Yet that whip's name too noble. Then to tell. Magnanimous of bird. By boy descried. To sing unto the stone. Of which it died. 17. Who? My friend must be a bird. Because it flies. Mortal my friend must be. Because it dies. Barbs has it, like a bee. Ah, curious friend. Thou puzzlest me. 18. He touched me, so I live to know. That such a day, permitted so. I groped upon his breast. It was a boundless place to me. And silenced, as the awful sea. Puts minor streams to rest. And now, I'm different from before. As if I breathed superior air. Or brushed a royal gown. My feet, too, that had wandered so. My gypsy face transfigured now. To tenderer renown. 19. Dreams. Let me not mar that perfect dream. By an auroral stain. But so adjust my daily night. That it will come again. XX. Newman Lumen. I live with him, I see his face. I go no more away. For visitor, or sundown. Death's single privacy. The only one forestalling mine. And that by right that he. Presents a claim invisible. No wedlock granted me. I live with him, I hear his voice. I stand alive today. To witness to the certainty. Of immortality. Taught me by time, the lower way. Conviction every day. That life like this is endless. Be judgment what it may. 21. Longing. I envy seas whereon he rides. I envy spokes of wheels. Of chariots that him convey. I envy speechless hills. That gaze upon his journey. How easy all can see. What is forbidden utterly. As heaven, unto me. I envy nests of sparrows. That dot his distant eaves. The wealthy fly upon his pain. The happy, happy leaves. That just abroad his window. Have summer's leave to be. The earrings of Pizarro. Could not obtain for me. I envy light that wakes him. And bells that boldly ring. To tell him it is noon abroad. Myself his noon could bring. Yet interdict my blossom. And abrogate my bee. Lest noon in everlasting night. Drop Gabriel and me. 22. Wedded. A solemn thing it was, I said. A woman white to be. And where, if God should count me fit. Her hallowed mystery. A timid thing to drop a life. Into the purple well. Too plummetless that it come back. Eternity until. Free, nature. I. Nature's changes. The springtime's pallid landscape. Will glow like bright bouquet. Though drifted deep in Parian. The village lies today. The lilacs, bending many a year. With purple load will hang. The bees will not forget the tune. Their old forefathers sang. The rose will redden in the bog. The aster on the hill. Her everlasting fashion set. And covenant gentians frill. 
till summer folds her miracle. As women do their gown. Or priests adjust the symbols. When sacrament is done. 2. The tulip. She slept beneath a tree. Remembered but by me. I touched her cradle mute. She recognized the foot. Put on her carmine suit. And see. 3. A light exists in spring. Not present on the year. At any other period. When March is scarcely here. A color stands abroad. On solitary hills. That science cannot overtake. But human nature feels. It waits upon the lawn. It shows the furthest tree. Upon the furthest slope we know. It almost speaks to me. Then, as horizon step. Or noons report away. Without the formula of sound. It passes, and we stay. A quality of loss. Affecting our content. As trade had suddenly encroached. Upon a sacrament. 4. The waking year. A lady red upon the hill. Her annual secret keeps. A lady white within the field. In placid lily sleeps. The tidy breezes with their brooms. Sweep vale, and hill, and tree. Prithee, my pretty housewives. Who may expect it be? The neighbors do not yet suspect. The woods exchange a smile. Orchard, and buttercup, and bird. In such a little while. And yet how still the landscape stands. How nonchalant the wood. As if the resurrection. Were nothing very odd. V. To March. Dear March, come in. How glad I am. I looked for you before. Put down your hat. You must have walked. How out of breath you are. Dear March, how are you? And the rest? Did you leave nature well? Oh, March, come right upstairs with me. I have so much to tell. I got your letter, and the birds. The maples never knew. That you were coming, I declare. How red their faces grew. But, March, forgive me. And all those hills. You left for me to hew. There was no purple suitable. You took it all with you. Who knocks? That April. Lock the door. I will not be pursued. He stayed away a year, to call. When I am occupied. But trifles look so trivial. As soon as you have come. That blame is just as dear as praise. And praise as mere as blame. 6. March. We like March, his shoes are purple. He is new and high. Makes he mud for dog and peddler. Makes he forest dry. Knows the adder's tongue his coming. And begets her spot. Stands the sun so close and mighty. That our minds are hot. News is he of all the others. Bold it were to die. With the bluebirds buccaneering. On his British sky. 7. Dawn. Not knowing when the dawn will come. I open every door. Or has it feathers like a bird. Or billows like a shore. 8. A murmur in the trees to note. Not loud enough for wind. A star not far enough to seek. Nor near enough to find. A long, long yellow on the lawn. A hubbub as of feet. Not audible, as ours to us. But dapper, more sweet. A hurrying home of little men. To houses unperceived. All this, and more, if I should tell. Would never be believed. Of robins in the trundle bed. How many I espy. Whose nightgowns could not hide the wings. Although I heard them try. But then I promised ne'er to tell. How could I break my word? So go your way and I'll go mine. No fear you'll miss the road. 9. Morning is the place for dew. Corn is made at noon. After dinner light for flowers. 
Dukes for setting sun. X. To my quick ear the leaves conferred. The bushes they were bells. I could not find a privacy. From nature's sentinels. In cave if I presumed to hide. The walls began to tell. Creation seemed a mighty crack. To make me visible. 11. A rose. A sepal, petal, and a thorn. Upon a common summer's morn. A flash of dew, a bee, or two. A breeze. A caper in the trees. And I'm a rose. 12. High from the earth I heard a bird. He trod upon the trees. As he esteemed them trifles. And then he spied a breeze. And situated softly. Upon a pile of wind. Which in a perturbation. Nature had left behind. A joyous going fellow. I gathered from his talk. Which both of benediction. And badinage partook. Without apparent burden. I learned, in leafy wood. He was the faithful father. Of a dependent brood. And this untoward transport. His remedy for care. A contrast to our respites. How different we are. 13. Cobwebs. The spider as an artist. Has never been employed. Though his surpassing merit. Is freely certified. By every broom and bridget. Throughout a Christian land. Neglected son of genius. I take thee by the hand. 14. A well. What mystery pervades a well? The water lives so far. Like neighbor from another world. Residing in a jar. The grass does not appear afraid. I often wonder he. Can stand so close and look so bold. At what is dread to me. Related somehow they may be. The sedge stands next the sea. Where he is floorless, yet of fear. No evidence gives he. But nature is a stranger yet. The ones that sight her most. Have never passed her haunted house. Nor simplified her ghost. To pity those that know her not. Is helped by the regret. That those who know her, know her less. The nearer her they get. 15. To make a prairie it takes a clover and one bee. One clover, and a bee. And reverie. The reverie alone will do. If bees are few. 16. The wind. It's like the light. A fashionless delight. It's like the bee. A dateless melody. It's like the woods. Private like breeze. Phraseless, yet it stirs. The proudest trees. It's like the morning. Best when it's done. The everlasting clocks. Chime noon. 17. A dew sufficed itself. And satisfied a leaf. And felt, how vast a destiny. How trivial is life. The sun went out to work. The day went out to play. But not again that dew was seen. By physiognomy. Whether by day abducted. Or emptied by the sun. Into the sea, in passing. Eternally unknown. 18. The woodpecker. His bill an auger is. His head, a cap and frill. He laboreth at every tree. A worm his utmost goal. 19. A snake. Sweet is the swamp with its secrets. Until we meet a snake. T is then we sigh for houses. And our departure take. At that enthralling gallop. That only childhood knows. A snake is summer's treason. And guile is where it goes. XX. Could I but ride indefinite. As doth the meadow be. And visit only where I liked. And no man visit me. And flirt all day with buttercups. And marry whom I may. And dwell a little everywhere. Or better, run away. With no police to follow. 
or chase me if I do. Till I should jump peninsulas. To get away from you. I said, but just to be a bee. Upon a raft of air. And row in nowhere all day long. And anchor off the bar. What liberty. So captives deem. Who tight in dungeons are. 21. The moon. The moon was but a chin of gold. A night or two ago. And now she turns her perfect face. Upon the world below. Her forehead is of amplest blonde. Her cheek like barrel stone. Her eye unto the summer dew. The likest I have known. Her lips of amber never part. But what must be the smile? Upon her friend she could bestow. Were such her silver will. And what a privilege to be. But the remotest star. For certainly her way might pass. Beside your twinkling door. Her bonnet is the firmament. The universe her shoe. The stars the trinkets at her belt. Her dimities of blue. 22. The bat. The bat is done with wrinkled wings. Like fallow article. And not a song pervades his lips. Or none perceptible. His small umbrella, quaintly halved. Describing in the air. An arc alike inscrutable. Elate philosopher. Deputed from what firmament. Of what astute abode. Empowered with what malevolence. Auspiciously withheld. To his adroit creator. Ascribe no less the praise. Beneficent, believe me. His eccentricities. 23. The balloon. You've seen balloons set, haven't you? So stately they ascend. It is as swans discarded you. For duty's diamond. Their liquid feet go softly out. Upon a sea of blonde. They spurn the air as tea were too mean. For creatures so renowned. Their ribbons just beyond the eye. They struggle some for breath. And yet the crowd applauds below. They would not encore death. The gilded creature strains and spins. Trips frantic in a tree. Tears open her imperial veins. And tumbles in the sea. The crowd retire with an oath. The dust in streets goes down. And clerks in counting rooms observe. T was only a balloon. 24. Evening. The cricket sang. And set the sun. And workmen finished, one by one. There seemed the day upon. The low grass loaded with the dew. The twilight stood as strangers do. With hat in hand, polite and new. To stay as if, or go. A vastness, as a neighbor, came. A wisdom without face or name. A peace, as hemispheres at home. And so the night became. 25. Cocoon. Drab habitation of whom? Tabernacle or tomb. Or dome of worm. Or porch of gnome. Or some elf's catacomb. 26. Sunset. A sloop of amber slips away. Upon an ether sea. And wrecks in peace a purple tar. The sun of ecstasy. 27. Aurora. Of bronze and blaze. The north, tonight. So adequate its forms. So preconcerted with itself. So distant to alarms. And unconcerned so sovereign. To universe, or me. It paints my simple spirit. With tints of majesty. Till I take vaster attitudes. And strut upon my stem. Disdaining men and oxygen. For arrogance of them. My splendors are menagerie. But their completeless show. Will entertain the centuries. When I am, long ago. An island in dishonored grass. Whom none but daisies know. 28. The coming of night. How the old mountains drip with sunset. And the break of dun. How the hemlocks are tipped in tinsel. 
By the wizard's son. How the old steeples hand the scarlet. Till the ball is full. Have I the lip of the flamingo. That I dare to tell. Then, how the fire ebbs like billows. Touching all the grass. With a departing, sapphire feature. As if a duchess pass. How a small dusk crawls on the village. Till the houses blot. And the odd flambeaux no men carry. Glimmer on the spot. Now it is night in nest and kennel. And where was the wood? Just a dome of abyss is nodding. Into solitude. These are the visions baffled Guido. Titian never told. Domenichino dropped the pencil. Powerless to unfold. 29. Aftermath. The murmuring of bees has ceased. But murmuring of some. Posterior, prophetic. Has simultaneous come. The lower meters of the year. When nature's laugh is done. The revelations of the book. Whose genesis is June. For, time and eternity. I. This world is not conclusion. A sequel stands beyond. Invisible, as music. But positive, as sound. It beckons and it baffles. Philosophies don't know. And through a riddle, at the last. Sagacity must go. To guess it puzzles scholars. To gain it, men have shown. Contempt of generations. And crucifixion known. 2. We learn in the retreating. How vast and one. Was recently among us. A perished son. Endears in the departure. How doubly more. Than all the golden presents. It was before. 3. They say that, time assuages. Time never did assuage. An actual suffering strengthens. As sinews do, with age. Time is a test of trouble. But not a remedy. If such it prove, it prove too. There was no malady. 4. We cover thee, sweet face. Not that we tire of thee. But that thyself fatigue of us. Remember, as thou flee. We follow thee until. Thou notice us no more. And then, reluctant, turn away. To con thee o'er and o'er. And blame the scanty love. We were content to show. Augmented, sweet, a hundredfold. If thou wouldst take it now. V. Ending. That is solemn we have ended. Be it but a play. Or a glee among the garrets. Or a holiday. Or a leaving home, or later. Parting with a world. We have understood, for better. Still it be unfurled. 6. The stimulus, beyond the grave. His countenance to see. Supports me like imperial drams. Afforded royally. 7. Given in marriage unto thee. O, thou celestial host! Bride of the Father and the Son! Bride of the Holy Ghost! Other betrothal shall dissolve. Wedlock of will decay. Only the keeper of this seal. Conquers mortality. 8. That such have died enables us. The tranquiller to die. That such have lived, certificate. For immortality. 9. They won't frown always, some sweet day. When I forget to tease. They'll recollect how cold I looked. And how I just said, please. Then they will hasten to the door. To call the little child. Who cannot thank them, for the ice. That on her lisping piled. X. Immortality. It is an honorable thought. And makes one lift one's hat. As one encountered gentlefolk. Upon a daily street. That we've a mortal place. Though pyramids decay. And kingdoms, like the orchard. Flit russetly away. 11. The distance that the dead have gone. Does not at first appear. 
their coming back seems possible. For many an ardent year. And then, that we have followed them. We more than half suspect. So intimate have we become. With their dear retrospect. 12. How dare the robin sing. When men and women here. Who since they went to their account. Have settled with the year. Paid all that life had earned. In one consummate bill. And now, what life or death can do. Is immaterial. Insulting is the sun. To him whose mortal light. Beguiled of immortality. Bequeaths him to the night. In deference to him. Extinct be every hum. Whose garden wrestles with the dew. At daybreak overcome. 13. Death. Death is like the insect. Menacing the tree. Competent to kill it. But decoyed may be. Bait it with the balsam. Seek it with the knife. Baffle, if it cost you. Everything in life. Then, if it have burrowed. Out of reach of skill. Ring the tree and leave it. T is the vermin's will. 14. Unwarned. T is sunrise, little maid, hast thou. No station in the day. T was not thy wont to hinder so. Retrieve thine industry. T is noon, my little maid, alas. And art thou sleeping yet? The lily waiting to be wed. The bee, dost thou forget? My little maid, T is night, alas. That night should be to thee. Instead of morning. Hadst thou broached. Thy little plan to me. Dissuade thee if I could not, sweet. I might have aided thee. 15. Each that we lose takes part of us. A crescent still abides. Which like the moon, some turbid night. Is summoned by the tides. 16. Not any higher stands the grave. For heroes than for men. Not any nearer for the child. Then numb threescore and ten. This latest leisure equal lulls. The beggar and his queen. Propitiate this democrat. By summer's gracious mean. Seventeen. Asleep. As far from pity as complaint. As cool to speech as stone. As numb to revelation. As if my trade were bone. As far from time as history. As near yourself today. As children to the rainbow's scarf. Or sunset's yellow play. To eyelids in the sepulcher. How still the dancer lies. While colors revelations break. And blaze the butterflies. 18. The spirit. T is whiter than an Indian pipe. T is dimmer than a lace. No stature has it, like a fog. When you approach the place. Not any voice denotes it here. Or intimates it there. A spirit, how doth it accost? What customs hath the air? This limitless hyperbole. Each one of us shall be. T is drama, if, hypothesis. It be not tragedy. 19. The monument. She laid her docile crescent down. And this mechanic stone. Still states, to dates that have forgot. The news that she is gone. So constant to its stolid trust. The shaft that never knew. It shames the constancy that fled. Before its emblem flew. XX. Bless God, he went as soldiers. His musket on his breast. Grant, God, he charged the bravest. Of all the martial blessed. Please God, might I behold him. In epaulette white. I should not fear the foe then. I should not fear the fight. 21. Immortal is an ample word. When what we need is by. But when it leaves us for a time. T is a necessity. Of heaven above the firmest proof. We fundamental know. Except for its marauding hand. It had been heaven below. 22. 
Where every bird is bold to go. And bees a bashless play. The foreigner before he knocks. Must thrust the tears away. 23. The grave my little cottage is. Where, keeping house for thee. I make my parlour orderly. And lay the marble tea. For two divided, briefly. A cycle, it may be. Till everlasting life unite. In strong society. 24. This was in the white of the year. That was in the green. Drifts were as difficult then to think. As daisies now to be seen. Looking back is best that is left. Or if it be before. Retrospection is prospects half. Sometimes almost more. 25. Sweet hours have perished here. This is a mighty room. Within its precincts hopes have played. Now shadows in the tomb. 26. Me. Come. My dazzled face. In such a shining place. Me. Here. My foreign ear. The sounds of welcome near. The saints shall meet. Our bashful feet. My holiday shall be. That they remember me. My paradise, the fame. That they pronounce my name. 27. Invisible. From us she wandered now a year. Her tarrying unknown. If wilderness prevent her feet. Or that ethereal zone. No I hath seen and lived. We ignorant must be. We only know what time of year. We took the mystery. 28. I wish I knew that woman's name. So, when she comes this way. To hold my life, and hold my ears. For fear I hear her say. She's, sorry I am dead, again. Just when the grave and I. Have sobbed ourselves almost asleep. Our only lullaby. 29. Trying to forget. Bereaved of all, I went abroad. No less bereaved to be. Upon a new peninsula. The grave preceded me. Obtained my lodgings ere myself. And when I sought my bed. The grave it was, reposed upon. The pillow for my head. I waked, to find it first awake. I rose, it followed me. I tried to drop it in the crowd. To lose it in the sea. In cups of artificial drowse. To sleep its shape away. The grave was finished, but the spade. Remained in memory. Triple X. I felt a funeral in my brain. And mourners, to and fro. Kept treading, treading, till it seemed. That sense was breaking through. And when they all were seated. A service like a drum. Kept beating, beating, till I thought. My mind was going numb. And then I heard them lift a box. And creak across my soul. With those same boots of lead, again. Then space began to toll. As all the heavens were a bell. And being but an ear. And I and silence some strange race. Wrecked, solitary, here. 31. I meant to find her when I came. Death had the same design. But the success was his, it seems. And the discomfort mine. I meant to tell her how I longed. For just this single time. But death had told her so the first. And she had hearkened him. To wander now is my abode. To rest, to rest would be. A privilege of hurricane. To memory and me. 32. Waiting. I sing to use the waiting. My bonnet but to tie. And shut the door unto my house. No more to do have I. Till, his best step approaching. We journey to the day. And tell each other how we sang. To keep the dark away. 33. A sickness of this world at most occasions. When best men die. A wishfulness their far condition. To occupy. A chief indifference, as foreign. A world must be. 
themselves forsake contented. For deity. 34. Superfluous were the sun. When excellence is dead. He were superfluous every day. For every day is said. That syllable whose faith. Just saves it from despair. And whose, I'll meet you, hesitates. If love inquire, where? Upon his dateless fame. Our periods may lie. As stars that drop anonymous. From an abundant sky. 35. So proud she was to die. It made us all ashamed. That what we cherished, so unknown. To her desire seemed. So satisfied to go. Where none of us should be. Immediately, that anguish stooped. Almost to jealousy. 36. Farewell. Tie the strings to my life, my lord. Then I am ready to go. Just a look at the horses. Rapid. That will do. Put me in on the firmest side. So I shall never fall. For we must ride to the judgment. And it's partly downhill. But never I mind the bridges. And never I mind the sea. Held fast in everlasting race. By my own choice and thee. Goodbye to the life I used to live. And the world I used to know. And kiss the hills for me, just once. Now I am ready to go. 37. The dying need but little, dear. A glass of water's all. A flower's unobtrusive face. To punctuate the wall. A fan, perhaps, a friend's regret. And certainly that one. No color in the rainbow. Perceives when you are gone. 38. Dead. There's something quieter than sleep. Within this inner room. It wears a sprig upon its breast. And will not tell its name. Some touch it and some kiss it. Some chafe its idle hand. It has a simple gravity. I do not understand. While simple-hearted neighbors. Chat of the, early dead. We, prone to periphrasis. Remark that birds have fled. 39. The soul should always stand ajar. That if the heaven inquire. He will not be obliged to wait. Or shy of troubling her. Depart, before the host has slid. The bolt upon the door. To seek for the accomplished guest. Her visitor no more. Excel. Three weeks passed since I had seen her. Some disease had vexed. Tea was with text and village singing. I beheld her next. And accompany, our pleasure. To discourse alone. Gracious now to me as any. Gracious unto none. Born, without descent of either. To the parish night. Of the separated people. Which are out of sight. XLI. I breathed enough to learn the trick. And now, removed from air. I simulate the breath so well. That one, to be quite sure. The lungs are stirless, must descend. Among the cunning cells. And touch the pantomime himself. How cool the bellows feels. 42. I wonder if the sepulchre. Is not a lonesome way. When men and boys, and larks and June. Go down the fields to hay. 43. Joy in death. If tolling bell I ask the cause. A soul has gone to God. I'm answered in a lonesome tone. Is heaven then so sad? That bells should joyful ring to tell. A soul had gone to heaven. Would seem to me the proper way. A good news should be given. 44. If I may have it when it's dead. I will contented be. If just as soon as breath is out. It shall belong to me. Until they lock it in the grave. T is bliss I cannot weigh. For though they lock thee in the grave. Myself can hold the key. Think of it, lover. I and thee. Permitted face to face to be. After a life, 
a death will say. For death was that, and this is the XLV. Before the ice is in the pools. Before the skaters go. Or any cheek at nightfall. Is tarnished by the snow. Before the fields have finished. Before the Christmas tree. Wonder upon wonder. Will arrive to me. What we touch the hems of. On a summer's day. What is only walking. Just a bridge away. That which sings so, speaks so. When there's no one here. Will the frock I wept in. Answer me to where. 46. Dying. I heard a fly buzz when I died. The stillness round my form. Was like the stillness in the air. Between the heaves of storm. The eyes beside had wrung them dry. And breaths were gathering sure. For that last onset, when the king. Be witnessed in his power. I willed my keepsakes, signed away. What portion of me I. Could make assignable, and then. There interposed a fly. With blue, uncertain, stumbling buzz. Between the light and me. And then the windows failed, and then. I could not see to see. 47. Adrift. A little boat adrift. And night is coming down. Will no one guide a little boat. Unto the nearest town. So sailors say, on yesterday. Just as the dusk was brown. One little boat gave up its strife. And gurgled down and down. But angels say, on yesterday. Just as the dawn was red. One little boat o'erspent with gales. Ret rimmed its masts, redecked its sails. Exultant, onward sped. 48. There's been a death in the opposite house. As lately as today. I know it by the numb look. Such houses have alway. The neighbors rustle in and out. The doctor drives away. A window opens like a pod. Abrupt, mechanically. Somebody flings a mattress out. The children hurry by. They wonder if it died on that. I used to when a boy. The minister goes stiffly in. As if the house were his. And he owned all the mourners now. And little boys besides. And then the milliner, and the man. Of the appalling trade. To take the measure of the house. There'll be that dark parade. Of tassels and of coaches soon. It's easy as a sign. The intuition of the news. In just a country town. 49. We never know we go, when we are going. We jest and shut the door. Fate following behind us bolts it. And we accost no more. L. The soul's storm. It struck me every day. The lightning was as new. As if the cloud that instant slit. And let the fire through. It burned me in the night. It blistered in my dream. It sickened fresh upon my sight. With every morning's beam. I thought that storm was brief. The maddest, quickest by. But nature lost the date of this. And left it in the sky. Lee. Water is taught by thirst. Land, by the ocean's past. Transport, by throw. Peace, by its battles told. Love, by memorial mold. Birds, by the snow. Lee. Thirst. We thirst at first, T is nature's act. And later, when we die. A little water supplicate. Of fingers going by. It intimates the finer want. Whose adequate supply. Is that great water in the West. Termed immortality. 53. A clock stopped, not the mantles. Geneva's farthest skill. Can't put the puppet bowing. That just now dangled still. An awe came on the trinket. The figures hunched with pain. Then quivered out of decimals. Into degreeless noon. It will not stir for doctors. This pendulum of snow. 
The shopman importunes it. While cool, concernless no. Nods from the gilded pointers. Nods from the second slim. Decades of arrogance between. The dial life and him. Live. Charlotte Bronte's grave. All overgrown by cunning moss. All interspersed with weed. The little cage of Currabell. In quiet Hayworth laid. This bird, observing others. When frosts too sharp became. Retire to other latitudes. Quietly did the same. But differed in returning. Since Yorkshire hills are green. Yet not in all the nests I meet. Can nightingale be seen. Gathered from many wanderings. Gethsemane can tell. Through what transporting anguish. She reached the asphodel. Soft fall the sounds of Eden. Upon her puzzled ear. Oh, what an afternoon for heaven. When Bronte entered there. L.V. A toad can die of light. Death is the common right. Of toads and men. Of Earl and Midge. The privilege. Why swagger then? The gnat's supremacy. Is large as thine. L.V.I. Far from love the Heavenly Father. Leads the chosen child. Oftener through realm of briar. Then the meadow mild. Oftener by the claw of dragon. Then the hand of friend. Guides the little one predestined. To the native land. 57. Sleeping. A long, long sleep, a famous sleep. That makes no show for dawn. By stretch of limb or stir of lid. An independent one. Was ever idleness like this? Within a hut of stone. To bask the centuries away. Nor once look up for noon. 58. Retrospect. T was just this time last year I died. I know I heard the corn. When I was carried by the farms. It had the tassels on. I thought how yellow it would look. When Richard went to mill. And then I wanted to get out. But something held my will. I thought just how red apples wedged. The stubble's joints between. And carts went stooping round the fields. To take the pumpkins in. I wondered which would miss me least. And when Thanksgiving came. If father'd multiply the plates. To make an even sum. And if my stocking hung too high. Would it blur the Christmas glee. That not a Santa Claus could reach. The altitude of me. But this sort grieved myself, and so. I thought how it would be. When just this time, some perfect year. Themselves should come to me. Licks. Eternity. On this wondrous sea. Sailing silently. Ho. Pilot, ho. Knowest thou the shore. Where no breakers roar. Where the storm is o'er. In the silent west. Many sails at rest. Their anchors fast. Thither I pilot thee. Land, ho. Eternity. Ashore at last.